Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how is everyone doing? Welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K22 GM Mode. We are live and we are ready to jive. That's right, my friends. I'm so pumped for this show here today. I missed playing GM Mode yesterday. I took Sunday off. I was like, man, I just need a little bit of a day here to unwind and get myself back ready for this week. But we are back again, everyone. GM mode, it's running wild. Oh, my. But let me show you where we're at. So if you have missed any little bit of this GM mode, we have taken over NXT. And it is our goal to make NXT the A show. Monday Night Raw's got nothing on NXT. So let me quickly show you how it has progressed over the last little bit. You can see it's neck and neck, all right? The ratings war is running off the charts. We have been neck and neck every single week with Monday Night Raw. Only one week at week four, I think it was. Yes, week number four did they pass us in the ratings. We have been number one for how many weeks? 11 out of 12 weeks. Monday Night Raw legitimately has got nothing on NXT. William Regal, the former GM that we played in the last GM mode, has taken over Monday Night Raw again. And he's failing. He's screwing the pooch, everyone. He's not doing his job. We are beating his bum. His little Regal bum all around the ring. So, also, if you take a look at our budget right here, you can't really see it over my face. So, I'm just going to remove my face for a second. You can see with the budget right here, we have been neck and neck with Raw for a bit. It has been back and forth, back and forth uh, the entire way. We passed them for a little bit during week five and week six. They overtook us back at week seven. But it's been us since week nine, going all the way to the moon like Cameron Grimes. And we are beating them in the budget. We are beating them in the ratings. This is a landslide right now for NXT, but that does not mean we are off the hook. No, it does not. It means we've got another bunch of weeks ahead of us. We are at week 13 out of 50 weeks, and we got to start making progress. We got to start getting over the 2 million range. I want to push to 3 million viewers by the end of this series. I don't know if that's possible, but by the 50 week, I want to be cranking Cracking that cranking. <laughs> I want to be cracking that 3 million viewer range. So that is a goal of ours. I'm excited, and I hope you guys are as well. But before we begin this show here today, make sure you drop that like. Make sure you're subscribed to all that great stuff. And yes, well wishes, thoughts, and prayers go out to the family, friends, and of course, Scott Hall. Uh, very, very sad news with Scott Hall. I don't want to bring you guys down, um, but... It, I'm very, very sad for him, for his friends, for his family, for the wrestling world. Very sad time. Uh, so, Scott Hall, you're in our thoughts here. Let's take a look at who is available in the free agency pool. We got Finn Balor for 10 weeks, who we could potentially get. We got Rey Mysterio here at 46000 which is very, very, very tempting. We got Johnny Gargano, who's a permanent, so we could bring him in if we wanted to. We got Drew Gulak as well, and we got Swerve Scott. Lots of people that could potentially be beneficial to our roster, as well as Cameron Grimes. Uh, so... There, there are some people who could benefit us. I, I don't think we need anyone, though, at the moment. Same with the Legends. You know, you look at someone like Brett the Hitman Hart. He would be really fun to see wrestle some of our guys. He, he would be incredibly fun to see wrestle, but I just don't know if there's room for him. Uh, we could pay homage to Scott Hall as well, but I, um, I, I'm a little... I don't want to be doing that at the moment. I'm, I'm really hoping he pulls through. It just would be amazing news if he did pull through. So thoughts and prayers to Scott Hall there. Um, but doesn't look like we need any legends or any free agent signings right at the moment. Let's get our show booked, the very first show. Now, we also have to consider something. Should we be getting the veteran crew? I think we should. I do think we should. It's... It seems silly that we don't have it unlocked yet, right? Like, it seems silly that we've got these things that we could purchase, but we haven't purchased yet. I really think we probably should. Uh, we don't get the next one until week 20, so let's get the logistics, the road crew. Let's get that all the way up to that level. And then let's get that one, the network quality, lights, effects, and pyro. And then, of course, the superstar signings, putting us up to $125,000 for one single show. And that's without any gimmick matches. Without any gimmick matches at all. Uh, so, 
let's get into this. So what do we have to manage? We have to manage Ricochet. Uh, so promises, Ricochet expects to make an appearance at the upcoming pay-per-view. That's fine. The Rock expects to make an appearance in front of his hometown crowd. So might be able to get him in the main event. I think that could be really fun. We got Karrion Cross saying we promised him a grudge match against Samoa Joe within three weeks. And that's all that we have. But we got a commissioner goal as well that says to book your least popular available star for a match this week. All right. So least popular versus the hometown boy. Is that possible? Should we maybe get Rock in the opener? Rock versus the least popular person on our roster. And that would be <laughs> none other than Tim. Burr. <laughs> uh, Tim Burr is getting a match against The Rock. Oh boy, uh, let's make this, uh, let's, let's up the rivalry between The Rock and Happy Corbin, okay? Let's up that rivalry and let's make it, you know what, just for the fun of it. We don't want a DQ finish. We want Extreme Rules, so let's get that opener as an Extreme Rules match. The Rock, the hometown boy, getting in there. Uh, and then our main event on the evening, I don't think we really have any major, major matches other than freaking Ricochet and Red Flame. <laughs> oh my God, the Red Flame. The Red Flame. The Red Flame. He is going to be a future stud for us here. The Red Flame. He is going to be so much. Oh, my God. I, I like the freaking Red Flame, man. We want Red Flame. Embrace the flame. <laughs> oh, my good God. Uh, okay, so that's pretty damn simple. We're going to have Red Flame call out Ricochet. Uh, let's up that rivalry some more. Chance to begin a rivalry or increase the level of an existing rivalry between the two superstars involved. That's pretty damn simple if you ask me. Main event though, I don't really have one. Uh, I guess we could do Karrion Cross versus Samoa Joe, Bruiser Fighter. We could do a title match, level one rivalry. Let's begin it, okay? So we're going to have a title match in our main event. Uh, let's make it, uh, let's make it a, do we want to do TLC? What's their stamina? 50 to 75. If we do this, then we need to really rest carry and cross. Uh, you know what? Maybe we just do a normal match. You know what? Do it. Do it. We're just going to do a normal match in the main event and let's get a tag team match with the women here. So who should be part of our show today. I, I guess our women's superstars are starting to get a little, no offense, but dull, right? Like, I, I mean, we've had the matchups, constant matchups. Kaylee Ray, Mandy Rose, Tony Storm, Candice LeRae. Those people have had matchups a bunch of times. Maybe we need to sign a female competitor. Maybe we need to sign someone for the women's division. In fact, that's what we're going to do. So let's go to free agency here. Let's see who's available. We've got... Um, Barely anyone. Wow. All right. Uh, I guess there's Billy Kay as a fighter. Could be a good addition. It's not the worst addition, but it's also not the best. Who's in the Legends? Who's a lady in the Legends? Anyone. Anyone at all? Really? Mickey James is the only one. Specialist. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think. Do we get Mickey James? What do you guys think? Yes or no? Do we sign Mickey James? 17K over five weeks. A specialist. Could be someone good to put up against Shayna Baszler. Could be someone good to put up against uh, another fighter. But she won't have the matchups perfectly. Uh, it's not a terrible idea. If we signed Mickey James and Billy Kay, that's two women to come onto our roster. Is that too much overkill? Maybe. Let's see. Some people in the chat are saying yes. Yes, they want Mickey James. Mickey, yes. All right. So, my friends, Mickey James is coming to NXT. Hey, Mickey, you so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Huh. You're signed. Yeah. Mickey James is coming on to NXT. There you guys have it. There she is. She is signed. She is signed, she is signed, she is signed. And $27,000 for Billy Kay. I think we're going to leave it. I think. Let me just check here. 
What is she? She's got a promo four out of five. That's pretty good. You know what? Billy K could be someone for us. I'm. You know what? Do it. I'm doing it. Ten weeks at 27k. Let's do it. We can get some matches out of her for sure. So there we go. All right. So, boom. Let's get this one going. Uh, if we're building up an actual rivalry, let's go with. Let's get Billy K and. Where's Mickey? Where's Mickey? Hey, Mickey, you so fine. Where are you? You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey, there you are. So Mickey James is right there. And I think we're going to do Mickey teaming with... Who would be a good person? So Mickey's a specialist. Let's get Mickey with Kaylee Ray. A fighter and a specialist. And then we're going to go up against Mandy Rose and, and Billy K. I like that tag team. You know what? I like that tag team. That's a good matchup. Is there a better matchup on the babyface side of things? There is. Tegan Knox could take... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Tegan Knox fits really well in there. And if we do an interference, I bet you I can up the feud between Shayna Baszler and... And Tegan Knox. They have a level one rivalry. I bet you I can make that a level two rivalry. There we go, guys. So that's what's going to happen there. Uh, I'm going to let that match just happen as a normals match. Same with our main event. So a couple of normal matches with an Extreme Rules opener between The Rock and Tim Burr. And the last thing that we need to do. Hey, Cartoons. How you doing, buddy? And welcome everyone here to the stream. It's good to see each and every single one of you. Make sure you drop that like if you haven't done so. We've got 107 watching. We should be up to at least 50 likes. All right, my friends? Uh, let's maybe do a... So either self-promo from Keith Lee as we continue to build up his popularity. Actually, he's at 51 stamina. We should rest him. Let's build up the popularity of Xavier Woods, okay? Build up that popularity. So Xavier... Is going to cut the promo. I like that. We got a run-in from Happy Corbin. We got a run-in from Shayna Baszler. And we have an NXT title match in the main event. One-on-one. -on -one. I like this card. I like this card, my friends. Uh, Big Tiger says, do a promo from Rock in his hometown crowd. We got a match. Rock gets a match. We don't need a promo from him. And Ghostface, good to see you, my man. So we've got Red Flame, Ricochet. Their rivalry is going to up to a level 3 and a level 4. Oh, I freaking love it. The Red Flame. And then, of course, we've got this tag match. There we go. Boom. I think this one will work. I think this will continue to make NXT a must-see show. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. And before we get into this one, I'm just going to make my tweet because I totally forgot to tweet out the stream beforehand. So just give me two seconds, my friends. Live with WWE 2K22 GM mode. NXT is kicking Raw's butt in the ratings war. They got nothing on us. Come watch and chat along. There we go. Boom. Hashtag WWE2K22. There we go. I'm such a good YouTuber making a tweet in the middle of the stream. Such a good YouTuber. There we go. Can you guys do me a favor? Head on over to Twitter.com slash Conman167. Favorite and retweet. Let's get that out there. But it's time for The Rock versus Timber. One, two, three. The Rock even wins with an interference from Corbin. But look at that. The rivalry grows. Corbin and Rock, level three. Dumb, 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 dumb. I don't know why I just called it dumb, but I did. Rivalry grows. Rock and Corbin. Two out of two and a half stars. Not a great matchup. Here's the Red Flame and Ricochet. Come on. Get the rivalry up to level four. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We got ourselves a level four rivalry between the Red Flame. And Ricochet. I think I used the correct link there, Jamie Todd. I hope so. I'm sure people would let me know if I didn't. Uh, then we got ourselves the tag team match here between Tegan Knox and Mandy Rose versus Billy Kay and the newly signed Billy Kay 
as well as Mandy Rose. So we got two new signees here. Uh, not incredibly over with the fans yet, but I'm sure this is going to be a good match. We got a run in from Shayna Baszler. Let's up that rivalry. Come on, give me a three star. Give me a three star. Come on now. Give me that three. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. All right. A bit of a rough NXT this week. Xavier Woods gets a good promo. And here we go. The NXT title match between Samoa Joe and Karrion Cross. We're building up this rivalry. Do we see a new NXT champion here this evening? We do! Samoa Joe has taken the NXT title here tonight. Wow! What just happened? What just happened? Joe is the new NXT champ. Damn! Not a great show that we put on. Raw is going to have a tough time... Uh, One, two, not beating three. us, I think. They, they, I think they can pretty much put on anything, and they're going to beat us. Look at this. They got, yeah, a four-star match to begin. That's not, oh, shoot. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Oh, my goodness. Are they going to wipe the floor with us this week? Eww. That's kind of rough. All right. And then we got Carmella, Becky Lynch. Here we go. Two, three. Carmella retains her title, I think. And oh my goodness. Oh, we got, oh my God, we got decimated. Except for in the main event. The main event we tied, but across the board, we got wrecked. We got wrecked, man. Got riggedy wrecked. That's not good. They might take us in the ratings this week. Let's see how many fans we drew. 12,000 fans, uh-oh, uh-oh, $110,000, that's not good, is there any uh, superstars cutting promos on each other, there is, there's Tegan Knox saying, you're a total coward, Shayna Baszler, why not face me in a real match instead of going for cheap shots, ah, so Tegan Knox wants her match against Shayna Baszler, Xavier Woods says, enjoying seeing Tim Burr lose against The Rock, who's a far more talented fighter, damn Woods, Putting him over Austin Creed. And he says you've success successfully accomplished the commissioner's goal this week. They have rewarded you with this power card for your efforts. Thank you, my friend. A free arena booking. But no! Guys, you can't see it because my face, but we're ranking number two! No! Oh, my good it's gracious, everyone. Looks like Monday Night Raw has surpassed us in the ratings. Oh, they gained 32,000 fans! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Raw has officially surpassed us by a decent amount. And their budget is on par with us. We put on a rough show. And the fans did not come out for it. They did not stick around. NXT falling down a little bit. We're one week until SummerSlam, though. Karrion Cross says, I'm not happy about losing my championship last week. As a former champion, I'm enacting my rematch clause. I want a rematch against Joe. Nobody else better get a title shot before me. Don't you worry, my friend. Don't you worry. I'll see to it. All right, Karrion, you're getting your rematch. It's gonna happen. He says, good, don't wake me. Don't make me waiting... Eh, English. Don't keep me waiting too long. I already miss wearing that gold around my waist. Holy moly moly. All right, and then Tim Burr says, Rock cheated me in that last match. I want a rematch in the next two weeks. Man, uh, Tim Burr, I don't know if you can be demanding a match against The Rock. I don't know if you can demand a match against The Rock. Uh, Sorry, Tim, no can do, I'm afraid. Yeah, slight morale decrease. Figures, I'll... It's just like you decide with The Rock. I'll remember this. Come on, you have to be better than this. Small decrease to Timber's morale. Screw off, Timber! Who do you think you are? You think you're some big star? Because you had one match against The Rock? No, you're not a star. You ain't a star. You're a chump, is what you are. 
Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. That would be an incredible addition. That would be an incredible addition to our roster if he weren't a specialist. Oh, we got Peyton! Yo! We could reunite the Iconics. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Peyton Royce, get your ass on this roster. Peyton Royce is here. We got the Iconics back together. The Iconics? We could also get Cameron Grimes or AJ. Man, Fabian Eichner's also a specialist. Uh, it's too damn bad. It's really too damn bad that he is a specialist. Mike Work, 4 out of 5. Popularity, 59. Stamina, 76. Man, that's too damn bad. Uh, if he had, like, a fighter role, I think we would bring him in. I don't think Grimes is going to work either. Too many specialists. We, we can't have the specialist issue again. Remember, the specialists don't really match up well against other people. Um, oh, what, when did I bring in Pete Dunn? Oh, right. I brought in Butch. Oh, okay. I totally forgot about that. I brought in Butch. We need Butch in a match. We need Butch actually in a tag team of some sort, I think. Uh, who could Butch go with? Butch could go in a tag team match with... Uh, who could Butch go with? Butch could go with someone who's available. Who's available? How about our big giants? If we put T-Bar and Mace against Pete Dunne and... Apollo. Pete Dunne and Apollo. That could be really good. That could be a really good tag team match to build up. That could be. What, uh, what what type of rivalries do we have? So we have Corbin and The Rock. That's great. We have Flame and Ricochet. That's great. We have Joe and Cross, so we can build up that rivalry a little bit more. And for our women's division, we've got Shayna and Knox. That's a pretty good pay-per-view card, if you ask me. We don't have a tag match, though. We don't have a tag rivalry, do we? Okay, um, tag rivalry might kick, might kick a couple things away, unfortunately. Uh, let's get, let's do Corbin and The Rock in the main event here today. We'll pop the rating with that one, and we'll see if we can get a tag team feud going here between Apollo Crews and Mason T-Bar. I think that's the way to go. All right, so we're going to run with that, see if we can maybe get a interesting looking show for us. All right, I'll go with that in the mid card. Opener needs to be. Uh, what could the opener be? We could do. We could do Tegan Knox in a match against. Who would she be good at? Yeah, Tegan Knox against Mandy Rose. Let's make this Extreme Rules. Let's do a run in. Shayna Baszler can run in and attack sh attack Tegan Knox. There we go. That works for me. And then in the main event here, we're going to do Rock versus Corbin. A one-on-one -on -one tables match, I guess. No interference. We're just going to do a tables match. Level 3 out of 4. Maybe they'll build the rivalry some more. Uh, that's a good way to go. And if this rivalry does complete or people are tired of the rivalry or it doesn't advance to a level 4 rivalry, we just won't include it on the card. Let's get a promo from... We can keep this off the show. We don't need this. This will survive one week. Let's get a let's get a uh, call out. Yeah, let's have let's have Carrion Cross call him. Oh wait, shoot, no, Cross is uh, tired, isn't he? He's got 42 stamina. No, I'm just gonna do a self promo from the champion Samoa Joe, I think. Or do we build up the popularity of someone else? Uh, maybe. No, we got to rest him. Samoa Joe is getting a self-promo right there. Good to see everyone. We got ourselves 183 viewers. If you have not done so, drop a like on this video. Good to have each and every single one of you here. And hopefully you're having a wonderful Monday so far. We're going to be live for about two, two and a half hours or so. All right. So Samoa Joe right there. And let's get a call out. Is there anyone that can call anyone out? That would make sense. I guess Woods could be called out by Timber. Let's do that. Let's up their rivalry a little bit. 
Peyton Cash says, why don't I have Knox have revenge against Baszler and have her attack her? The reason being is I want to rest up our champion. If you look our champ right here, Shayna Baszler has 56 stamina. So I don't want to use her up in a match, which is going to cost 12 stamina because we have a title match next week. So we're just going to go right here. We're going to put her in a run-in, and that should work out really well. The Rock here. Uh, oh, man. He's actually... He's gassed. I didn't realize that The Rock was as gassed as he is. Hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. Uh, our main event has to change. Yeah, the main event has to change, unfortunately. Is there any match we could put on that would be really, really fun to watch? Um, is this a rivalry? I guess this could be the main event. No, it doesn't have a rivalry. Oh, shoot, man. This isn't good. This is not good. No, I don't have a main event here tonight. We need to rest the rock. So, if our matches go as planned... Oh, Rock runs in. I guess that could be a good way to use... Ah, but then his stamina will be really low, won't it? Um, And he could get hurt, which we don't want him to be hurt because we're paying him good money to be here. I guess we could do Walter versus someone, like Walter versus Monsoor. A giant versus a cruiser in a... Extreme will Peyton Cash says have Woods and Burr in the main event. You know what, dude? That's actually not a bad shout. Level one rivalry. That's not a bad shout. That's not a bad shout at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get rid of this one. There we go. Not a bad shout at all. So let's get Tim Burr and Xavier Woods in the main event. Uh, does Woods match up well with him? He does. Cool. Cool. We're going to make this an Extreme Rules match. So we have two Extreme Rules matches on the card. And let's get a... Anybody that could call out anyone. Uh, nope, let's just do a charity. Let's do Big Daddy Keith Lee out there. Oh, what's the, what's the commissioner goal? Ensure that Happy Corbin cuts a promo this week. Oh, that's easy. All right, there we go. So instead of Samoa Joe, it's going to be Happy Corbin because he's just a happy... Happy Corbin. He's just a happy, happy, happy Corbin. There you go. So self-promo from him. And let's get a charity one from none other than Keith Lee. Boom. Charity. All right, my friends. I think we have the show there. Let's just book our logistics. There we go. So our show is going to cost us $179,000 to put on. Damn. Damn, really? Maybe let's lower this. Let's let's lower it down to there. Let's get the optional booking stuff. Um You know what? Yeah, I'm going to I'm just going to drop this down for one week. This costs us $95,000 instead of what it was. Uh it, it's going to cost a total of $149,000 to run the show this week. Plus we get three optional bonuses, so let's do that. Red Flame will be on the card next week at SummerSlam versus Ricochet. The Red Flame. And here we go, everyone. So, we've got quite the interesting show this evening. Starting off with Tegan Knox versus Mandy Rose. Let's go. One, two, three. Tegan Knox gets the dub, and it was a three star opener. I'll take it. I will take this opening match here. Tegan Knox, my friends, gets the dub. It's a damn shame Tegan Knox didn't get more work in WWE. She's fantastic, she truly is. One of the coolest chicks out there in the wrestling world. Seriously. Uh, Happy Corbin right here, right now. Promo effect, plus zero rating, but he got his self-promo. That's good to see. Then we got Apollo Crews and Pete Dunne versus Mason T-Bar. Again, Mace, one of the coolest looking guys that WWE missed their opportunity with. How could you not book this man to be a menace? How could you not make this man someone worthwhile seeing? I don't understand. So here we go. Let's get it. Apollo Crews, Pete Dunn, Mason T-Bar. One, two, two three. three. Mason T-Bar get the win. The Butch was not enough. <laughs> but we got a new rivalry. I'm okay with that. New rivalries are great. We can always get in there with some rivalries. 
Keith Lee right now. Charity promo. Let's get those 5,000 fans. That's what I'm talking about. And it's time for our main event of the evening. It's time for Timber versus Xavier Woods. Bruiser versus Fighter. Let's do it. One, two, three. Ah, ding, ding, ding. There it is. Big win for Xavier. Oh, only two and a half stars. Ah. Eh, only two and a half stars. Damn, what another week show for us on NXT. Uh, I'm going to admit, guys, Monday Night Raw right now is kicking our butts. One, They're two, kicking our butts. Three. They're about to beat us again, aren't they? They've got the rivalries built. They've been doing a really good job with the rivalries, honestly. Three and a half stars there. Weak promo from him. One, two, two, three. Yeah, we're going to miss out on this. Oh, man. Raul Mendoza. Two star mediocre. We needed that. We needed them to have a mediocre match. Titus O'Neil calls out Otis. And then now Otis Alexander. Otis is going to be gassed after this. One, Otis two, is going to be gassed. Three. Yeah, Ivar and Kyle O'Reilly pick up the win. Wow, amazing main event. Damn. Really? Wow. Wow. All right. That's two weeks now in a row. They have beaten our butts. 13,000 fans. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Mandy Rose says, not sure the better superstar won tonight. Be seeing you again, Tegan Knox. The Rock says, does anyone actually care what Happy Corbin has to say? Wow. Oh, no. We're still ranking number two. Oh, God. Goodness. Ah, they gained 13,000 vans. $130,000 in the budget. They're they're kicking our butts. Monday Night Raw is actually kicking our butts right now. Oh. All right. So two shows for them in a row. All of a sudden, on the road to SummerSlam, it has been them. And we've got The Rock's contract coming up. Is he going to cost, what, 100 k to keep him or something? Hey, my contract at NXT is coming up at the end of the week. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. How much money are you going to gouge me for? 93K. Ah, right. Is that permanent? It's got to be permanent. I'm putting it in, okay, guys? 93K. The Rock is staying in NXT. Boom. There we go. We got ourselves The Rock. That's good. Uh, Trent Seven says, I haven't had any matches in a while and the fans are starting to forget about me. Do you have room for me in a match on tonight's card? Uh, how about cutting a promo instead? No, I'm here to fight, not run my mouth. Sounds like I have a better chance of getting a match on another brand. Maybe Raw. Then go to Raw, Trent. Frig off. <laughs> Frig off, Trent. Free off. And then Samoa Joe says, Hey, boss, I've been ta talking with Ricochet a lot lately, and he had this great idea we should form up and make a tag team. I think we'd actually make an awesome tag team. You know what, dude? I'm down. Can I convince you to take a chance on us and book us in a tag match in the next few weeks? Sure, let's try it. Wait, some people are saying it's not permanent with The Rock. Well, let's check this one. Is The Rock permanent for us? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! He's gonna be gone in 11 weeks. We just dropped 100k for 11 weeks. Ah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ugh. All right. So the Rock costing us mad's amount of money just to stick around for 11 weeks. I thought it was permanent. Uh, should we fire the rock? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, maybe I'm not, though. So anyways, I guess let's book the show here. Let's get the show logistics. Let's make sure we know what we're doing. Let's put everything on the line for tonight's show. We could get a commercial campaign for $75,000. Let's do it. Let's get as many fans in here to see our show that we can. Alex the Dominator says hello from Greece. Well, hello from Canada. It's good to see you, my friend. Welcome to the stream. All right. We have four matches to put on. What is the biggest match that we have available? The biggest match that we have available is... 
Do we have a level four rivalry? We do. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Our main event is going to be Ricochet versus the Red Flame. The Red Flame in a TLC match. That's our main event. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Actually, that's a good idea there, Jamie Todd. We'll use the book arena for free card. I like that. My, oh my. The red flame. The red flame. I guess then let's open with the men's title match, I think. Baszler and Knox. What's Knox's popularity? 64, 67 versus 61 for Joe and 50. You know what? The opening match is going to be the women's title match. Shayna Baszler and Tegan Knox one on one. Let's get this as a. Uh, let's go TLC. Or not that. What is this? Ensure that Tony Storm's fight. What? You want me to put Tony Storm on the card? Why? It's a pay-per-view. What has Tony Storm done for us? Like, absolutely nothing. That's that's not fair. That's not fair to say. But she's done very little. Where is Tony? She's all the way... Wait. She's right all the way down here. You want her on the pay-per-view? What is on the line? A free arena booking. I think we're going to have to just pass by that. We can't do that. We can't have Tony Storm... We, we can't have Tony Storm on this card. She's in no rivalry. Sorry, Trips. Sorry, Daddy Trips. It's not happening. Not happening. Let's get our Samoa Joe carrying cross match in there. Let's make this a tables match. No, let's make it TLC. Let's have two TLC matches on the show. I'm, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. And then let's make this a tag team match. We need... Uh, unfortunately, The Rock and Corbin are not going to go. They're not making the card, are they? Doesn't look that way. We could put Rock and Woods together to go up against Timber. And you know what? This one might actually be really good. It's not a rivalry match. But I think if we make this Extreme Rules... Or make it a tables match. There we go. Make that a tables match. I think that's the one. Ghostface says, I might get a bad reaction from the crowd for your main event. I don't think I will. This is a level four rivalry in a pay-per-view match type bonus. So the branded pay-per-view, TLC, that is the special match for SummerSlam this time. I think our main event is set. This is the biggest match we can put on according to our rivalries. And then if we have that right there, you know what, guys? I think this show is going gonna, is gonna to kick butt. I think this one's going to kick butt. I really do. So let's get some stuff right here. And if I'm wrong about the main event, I'm wrong about the main event. But I think it should be okay. Let's give Keith Lee a bit of a break. Let's have Apollo Crews get his, his level of fans up. I guess. Let's get his popularity up. Let's get... Uh, they did say Tony Storm. It said book Tony Storm for a match, but it's still not fulfilled, so I can't do that. Um, oh, oh, I got to add the titles in. My bad, guys. There we go. Titles are on the line now. And then let's do a call out from Mickey to... I guess she doesn't have anybody, does she? Hmm. Mickey to Mandy could be something. I guess that would just be a throwaway rivalry, wouldn't it? Um, roll ch Oh, do we have a heel turn? Do we need anybody to go heel for the women's division? Or face, I guess? Because our current champ is Shayna Baszler. Um... Current champ is Shayna Baz. You know what? Trent Seven. He's a fighter. I'm going to have Trent Seven switch roles. I'm going to have Trent all of a sudden become a heel. He asked for more opportunity, I guess, on Monday Night Raw. So we're going to have Trent or... You know what? That's a good idea, Ghostface. Call, have Trent call out Walter. 
Will they work together? Uh, no, they won't. No, they won't. Okay, so never mind. We're just going to turn him. All right? So Trent Seven is being turned. Then let's have Tony Storm cut a promo here, and we'll try to build her popularity up as well. Actually, you know what? Apollo Crews can do the uh, the charity. There we go. Apollo Crews gets the charity. We got a role change right there in Trent Seven. We have uh, Tony Storm there with a self promo. People are getting mad at me for not using Tony Storm like Ultimate STV. Take your chill pill, my friend. There it is. Have fun with it. <laughs> uh, all right. This looks good. This looks good. Uh, so it's going to be opener. Shayna Baszler versus Tegan Knox. Then we got a charity promo from Apollo Crews. We have The Rock and Xavier Woods versus Happy Corbin and Tim Burr. We have a role change for Trent Seven. We have the NXT title on the line between Samoa Joe and Karrion Cross, which, by the way, the NXT women's title is on the line between Shayna and Tegan. This one's a TLC match. We have Tony Storm cutting a promo. And then in the main event, the level four rivalry right here. Gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, my friends. Let's finish this off. Let's get some power cards. Let's use a free arena booking. And let's do... Oh, special promotion. Yes, we're using that this week. I feel like we're going to have a good show. I, I legitimately do. I think SummerSlam is going to be one of those shows that does really good for us. Uh... Double the cost of an imposing brand's matches for next week's show. We don't want to do that here. Power cards. We've got two on. All right. This is big, my friends. We have to deliver. We have to deliver. Here we go. Confirm the booking. And it's time to watch the pay-per-view. You guys know what we do. We watch some pay-per-view matches. So we're going to watch the opener between Shayna and Tegan. We are going to watch... Joe and Cross, and then we'll see if we watch the main event at how long we've been uh, simulating for. So here we go, my friends. Tegan Knox, Shayna Baszler, one on one, my GM mode. This is a huge, huge show for us. We have to succeed. The following contest is an extreme rules match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. And it's time for Tegan Knox. Man, she could have been such a big star. She could have been such a big star. Man, she's got Becky Lynch type vibes. Legit. That's the type of star she could have been. Ah, oh, it's so unfortunate. Tegan Knox should never have been released from WWE. And if I was AEW or NWA, to be perfectly honest, I'd be going right after her with everything I got. Now we're talking. Where even is Tegan Knox? Right now. Man, she's just, she could have been so, she could have been huge. Legit. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. She has not returned to wrestling yet, has she? But here we go. Time for Shayna. Baszler. It's Shayna three time. Did Tegan Knox retire? I don't think so. But here she is. Nah, it doesn't look like Tegan Knox retired. Nope. But make sure before we get this match underway, make sure you guys drop that like on this video. Let's get this all the way up to 150 likes. Okay, I believe we can do that. I believe in us. I believe. I believe that we can reach 150 likes. I believe that we can reach. I believe that we can reach it. <laughs> 
Let's go. And the women's title, my friends, is on the line. GM mode. Introducing the challenger from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Tegan Knox, 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 Knox. And introducing the champion from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler. And there's Shayna. Shayna, but 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 Baszler. All right, this one should be good. Come on, put on a banger to start off our show. Seriously, just put on a banger. That's all I want to see. It's just a big old banger. What platform am I playing on? PC. Here we are, my friends. Cast your vote. It looks like 62% of you say Shayna Baszler is going to win. And Shayna just starts by hammering her elbow right into the top of the head of Tegan Knox. And oh no. Oh no, Tegan. Oh no. Tegan, Tegan Knox. Did I say PC? What platform am I playing on? PC. I don't know if I actually answered the question. I read it out, but I don't think I answered it. Matt Ranieri, how you doing, buddy? He says, if I was in WWE, would I be a heel or a babyface? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think being a heel would be a lot of fun, but I don't know if I could pull it off. I don't think I could. <laughs> I don't think I'm likable enough either to be a good babyface. I'd probably just be a mid-card tweener who does absolutely nothing and never gets over. <laughs> Uh-oh, some right hands being handed out by Shayna three-time. And Shayna launches Tegan Knox over the top rope. Down to the floor. Yes, it is. Down to the floor. A kick to the side of the head. And Shayna. Uh-oh. Shayna. Oh, the elbow drop missed its mark. Tegan Knox. Farm C says, why am I ignoring your good questions? He says, absolutely nothing that were good questions. They were not formed in the form of a question. You literally are not saying any questions at all. He said, no, I, you have not asked a single question. Ask a question, I might answer it, my man. <laughs> oh, Shayna Baszler just sent right into the steel steps. And Tegan Knox is starting to get back into this one. This is exactly what Tegan Knox needed. Hang on, Tegan now has Shayna up. Shayna planted face first. Randall Craig says, I've been playing this on Xbox. Finally got it downloaded and been addicted already. It's so good. It's such a fun game mode. This GM mode is so much fun. I'm loving it. Oh, down to the floor. And now Tegan Knox. Oh, that had to hurt. That had to hurt. Tegan just dropped her on her head. And what is Tegan doing here in this Extreme Rules match? Shayna, though. Oh, just takes the steel chair out of her hand. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. What's about to happen here? Shayna Baszler throws her arm right on the steel chair. Oh, that had to hurt. That had to hurt a lot. And then Shayna sent face first into the steel post. Goodness me. What a hard match so far. Hard fought match. Now Shayna back inside the ring. There's a form to the face and a clothesline as well. Clothesline from Tegan Knox puts her down to the mat. Back heel kick. Tegan Knox building up the fight here. Shayna Baszler is in a troubled position. Irish whip into the corner. Tegan slowly out after her. Kick to the midsection. Wait a second. Tegan. Tegan. Oh, my goodness. Panama Sunrise. That's going to be it. One, two. Oh, my goodness. Kick out by Shayna Baszler. Kick out. Judd3300 says, did I play My Rise? I have played My Rise. Very, very fun game mode. I've got 
two episodes up on the channel right now if you ever want to check it out. Shayna with the knee to the face. Shayna with that big old knee and now just stomping on the hand of Tegan Knox. Retro to Man saying, hello everyone. Khan, have you started making any characters for the Sea of New 2K22 yet? No, I have not. I don't even have the card ready for this Thursday. Um, I'm really behind with the CMU. So after this stream here today, I got to take the dog to the vet. And then I come on back and I'm working on the CMU. I'm getting that all ready for you guys. I also want to create another episode of My Rise, which I might do tonight after Raw. So I can upload it tomorrow for all of you. Uh, but yeah, lots of content. Oh my gosh, nice move right there. Bridging into the cover, but it was not enough as Shayna Baszler somehow was able to get out of that move right there. Now Tegan going right back down for another weapon, but Shayna counters with a forearm to the face. Oh no, Tegan. Tegan. Three shots right there to the arm from Shayna, and Shayna now steps back up inside the ring. Shayna is proud of her work. Wait a second, Tegan Knox lifts the chair up. Tegan Knox slides back in. Oh, but Shayna Baszler sees it coming. But a forearm right there to the face. Punch to the face now. This is for the NXT Women's title. Tegan Knox around the back. Bridges right into it. Beautiful move. Not a bridge. I don't even know what that's called. But wait a second, Tegan putting the chair up in the corner. Oh, Shayna though. Shayna, no! Shayna! Kira Fudo clutch. It's over. Tegan Knox is caught. Tegan Knox is gonna have to tap out. Tegan Knox taps out to Shayna. Shayna retains. What a match. Yeah, the CMU draws tonight. Here is your winner. And still wow. Farm C says, did I play any of the My Faction Shayna mode yet? The card mode? I haven't. I haven't even checked it out. Is it worth checking out, guys? What do you think? The My Faction stuff. Is it worth checking out? Make sure you drop a like on that one for that match. I'm guessing four stars. I'm guessing four stars. That's what we get for our opener. Come on. Come on, Shayna. Give me four stars. Give me four stars. Come on. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The rivalry grows too. This ain't done. Well, that's a great opener for us here tonight. So Shayna gets the victory. All right, four star opener. There we go. We got ourselves a charity promo from Apollo Crews. Some people are saying it's not worth it to check out the card thing in this uh, game. Okay. My faction stuff. Here we go. We got ourselves this match. The Rock and Woods versus Corbin and Timber. Who's going to win? One, two, three. What? Timber and Happy Corbin pick up the win. What? Wow, that's unexpected. Corbin and Timber pick up the victory. But we now got ourselves a heel, Trent Seven. You haven't checked out my faction yet. You're joking, right? Daniel Hins. No, I haven't. It. What's What's wrong with that? I've been playing GM mode. I've been playing universe mode. I've been playing my rise. I just haven't got around to it yet. I'm not joking. What? How's that a funny joke? I only tell funny jokes. That ain't a funny joke. All right, here we go. We've got ourselves Samoa Joe versus Karrion Cross one on one. Jalen Jackson says, "How do I get into the CMU?" It's pretty simple, my friend. If you become a member on this channel or you drop a twenty dollar donation. You get entered into the CMU draw. It's as simple as that. Now, you don't have to drop a $20 dono. If you become a member for $5 as opposed to $20, you get two entries. So it makes more sense. Become a member, right? If you guys would like to. It supports this channel directly, uh, and it is really, really helpful. Yeah, I'd like to see our member count start to grow on this channel. That would be fun. 
<laughs> Macho Studio says you tell hella corny jokes. Makes sense. My name's Con. Some people call me Corn. It happens. There he is, though. The former champion, Mr. Fallen Prey. It's Karrion Cross. J Money Jeff asking, how was my day? Honestly, dude, my day is just starting. It's uh, 11.48. I've been up for about three hours or so. Got the dog, walked, all that great stuff. And now we're live. I do have a vet appointment, though, uh, coming up after this live stream. Exactly. And if you're already in the CMU, you can donate 20 to enter somebody else into the CMU. So let's get the proper poll up here on the screen. There's Mr. Fallen Prey. Fallen Prey. Fallen Prey. Fallen Prey. Fallen Prey. <clears throat> so there we have it my friends get your votes in who do you think is gonna win carrying cross or samoa joe worst crowd ever <laughs> And here he is. You guys can chant it with me in just a second. Get your fingers out like this because it's time for Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Joe. Woo! Uh, just the draw there, Retro to Man. Just the draw. It's a way to try to get people, if they want to support the channel, to give back to them, right? So if they want to support them, at least there's a chance that they can put people into the draw. People who maybe they want to see get a chance. Uh, we've seen a lot of people pick Samuel Vlogs with their donations, trying to get him into the CMU. Daniel Hinn says, I really love how you're enjoying the game, Con. Love it, my friends. And if you're enjoying this game, make sure you leave a like on this video. We got ourselves a TLC match for the NXT Championship between Joe and Karrion Cross. We're running it back. We're running it back again. Let's go. 60% say Samoa Joe is going to win. And this thing is beginning with Joe and Cross leaving the ring. Uh oh, wait a second. Cross goes back inside the ring, and now Cross goes to the outside of the ring while Samoa Joe's trying to grab the ladder, but Joe just gets thrown back in there by the big bad Cross. So, right now, our current NXT champion is Samoa Joe. Cross was the former champ. This is a rematch. This one should be pretty good. Judd 3300 says, Joe is gonna kill you. Is that old? If yes, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry at all. Joe is going to kill him. Oh, oh, maybe not. Oh, God. Oh, my. <laughs> that was a strong ladder shot to the face. If you ask me. Now Samoa Joe is back inside the ring. Right hand delivered there. And Cross is now stepping up top. Carrying Cross. Oh, this might have been a mistake, though. Samoa Joe trying to shove the ladder out from underneath of him. Cross hanging. Oh, no. Right on the ladder. Oh. Oh my god, his body bending over the steel. How is Cross not dead? Oh, shoot, right on the ladder as well. The point of the ladder going into the back of Joe. Joe now with a right hand, throws him down. Yikes, early on in this match, there is already a lot of damage being dealt out by dropping them on the steel. Samoa Joe taking full advantage of Cross, but Cross now gonna do a double leg jawbreaker. Cross, no! Oh, on the ladder again! But 
Joe just no selling it. Joe just being like, no, nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. I've landed on harder things. Joe goes for a big shot. Oh, and he lands it on the face of Cross. Cross got rocked. And now Joe sees his opportunity, just takes down Karrion Cross. I don't know what the hell happened there. Something did. I mean, Samoa Joe now going after the steel chair. Chair in hand, but Cross counters that one. Mr. Canadian says so you can get picked multiple times for the draw. Correct. But we're going all the way up now. Joe and Cross. What a chop from Joe. Another chop from the NXT champion. Wait a second now. Countered. Joe hanging on. But Cross still fighting. Joe slams him off the steel. Oh my goodness. All the way down. That's a long fall. They're all the way up on the ladder. Big chop. Reverse slamming him off the steel ladder again. Samoa Joe with another chop. Carrying Cross is in trouble. Another chop delivered to Cross. Cross is hurting. Three chops. Cross is in a lot of trouble. Off the steel again. Oh my goodness. Cross just shoved off the ladder by Joe. And Joe just levitates down. What the heck? <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. Joe. A big splash off the top of the ladder. How in the blue hell did Joe just do that? And now Joe's going for the title. Joe's got his hands on the championship. What a splash by the big man. But Cross is not done yet. He's going to shove the ladder out from underneath him. Oh, no, no, no. On the ladder again. Carrion waiting for him to get up. But now he's got the ladder in hand. Samoa Joe takes him down. Joe reversed by Cross. What a match we've got so far. Carrion Cross just scoops him down. Joe literally squishing Cross. Another chop there. Taking the ladder out from the hands. Samoa Joe. He's got him. He's got him. The Coquina Clutch. The Coquina Clutch is in. Uh-oh. Carrion Cross is out cold. That's it. He's passed out. You can literally see him stun in the hold. Wait a second, though. No, he gets out of it. What? Or you can simply watch as you're doing now and interact with the community. Pay me a ton, says Dark Legend. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's up there, Dark Legend? How you doing? Why do you want me to pay you a ton? I don't get it. We want table. I, I, I'm confused. I am interacting with the community. It's good to see you here in this chat. Samoa Joe now. It's good to have everyone here in the chat as well. Joe with a chair. Oh, across the back. But Cross eats the second one to the face. Another shot. He moves out of the way. Cross wrestles the chair out from under him. Cross, though, caught by Joe. Oh, no. Wait, reverse, though. Carrion staying alive. And there it is. Caught. I actually agree with you, Retro to Man. I agree with you. That should be the way. 52, 103, 21. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. To gift to anybody that you want. Yeah, that's a cool idea. We'll, we'll implement that moving forward, okay, my friends? Wait a second. Now Joe is down carrying Cross. All the Cross is going to pay it back. Oh, no! Cross squishing Joe! Just like Joe do it, did to him earlier in the match. And now Carrion. Saito. Doomsday suplex. Planting Joe on his head. Oh no guys. Samoa Joe is done. Carrion Cross with all the time in the world. But how is Joe getting up to his feet? How is Joe getting up to his feet? How? Carrion Cross with his hands on the title. Joe trying to climb up the ladder. Cross fighting for his life, but he can't get the title down. Some more shots there to the midsection. Joe with a chop. Cross is in trouble. Joe just takes down Cross. And now Samoa Joe with his hands on the title. But Cross is going to no-sell that fall. That is a seven-foot drop all the way to the floor. Joe's got his hands on the title again as he's trying to become the NXT to retain the NXT Championship. He's got a chance. Three shots from Cross. 
Cross now with a shot to the face, but Joe fights right back again. Chop to Cross, chop to Cross. Three chops, Cross is it, oh, reverse slam, oh, we got blood, we got blood. Cross shoved off the top of the ladder. Joe's chances now, Samoa Joe can do it, but he's gonna take a risk. Joe, oh, one too many times. One too many times. And now they both go back up top. Karrion Cross eats a chop. Chop reverse. Oh no. Samoa Joe just reversed something big. Cross shoves Joe off the ladder. We're going to see a new NXT champion. Come on, Karrion. Karrion Cross only needs two ticks. One tick away! Karrion Cross almost done it! He's almost done it! Joe's gotta stop him! Joe's gotta get up there! Oh no! Karrion Cross has won back the NXT title. Here is your winner and the new NXT champion! Biff Buffing, uh, Biffington, I think you misunderstood, my friend. He says, so if I'm a member, I can submit two of my CAWs. Um, no, that's not exactly how it works. We've got a custom universe mode here on this channel, or at least coming to this channel with 2K22. It's called the CMU, and I make all the characters. So you're in it as a name if you win the draw. If you become a member, you get entered into the draw. So that's kind of what the CMU is all about, okay, my friends? Four and a half star match, though. Let's go, four and a half star and new champion. But this rivalry ain't done yet, guys. All right, Carrion is back as a champ, a four and a half star classic. What a match. Then we got Tony Storm here cutting a promo. And we've got ourselves another TLC main event. However, this is not a title match. So, my friends, I'm going to simulate Ricochet Red Flame. Unless, or wait, you know what? I'm going to let you decide. Do we simulate or do we spectate? You guys get to decide our main event here tonight if we're simulating or spectating. Carrying, we're sp simulating or spectating Ricochet versus Red Flame. Well, if you want to be part of the CMU, consider becoming a member. We can get you entered into the draw. The draw actually takes place tonight over on the Conman167 channel around 8.30 p.m. tonight. So make sure you're looking forward to that one. We got a couple simulates, couple simulates, some spectates. Mostly simulates from the looks of it. Uh, all right, my friends. We are going to simulate this one. Yeah, simulate. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Ricochet beats the Red Flame. Four-star main event. Rivalry complete. So you know what, guys? We would have been better off putting Joe and Cross in the main event for a four-and-a-half star. But still, nothing wrong with a four-star main event like that. Let's go. Let's go. And then this show right here, what a weak looking SummerSlam card. Oh, wow, what? This is their SummerSlam card? We should wipe the floor with them. One, two, three. We should wipe the floor with them. Ha ha ha! Oh my goodness, what? Uh, Elosha Devil says how to directly enter it without the draw. It's not possible because we have a 100 character limit. If we did have the ability to have like 250 characters, if they upped their created limit, then we would have a way for you guys to directly enter it. But since there is a character limit and we're already at 100 characters, there's just a draw. That's the only way in. You got to get lucky. All right, Natalia versus Becky Lynch. Here we go. Natalia picks up the win. Oh, not even close. Not even close, man. I'll get that weakish out of here. One, two, three. Titus O'Neil picks up the win. <laughs> oh, raw. 
Oh my goodness, Raw. This is your pay-per-view card? This is your pay-per-view card? What? There's not a chance they are actually serious about this. Mr. Amity, Amity, Amity. How you doing, buddy? Good to always see ya. Always fantastic. And now, the last one here. Main event. MVP versus Drew McIntyre. One, two, three. Come on, shit the bed. Come on, poop the bed. Okay, all right, all right. Main event, we tied. Main event, we tied. I destroyed them. And we have the retained fans on. Oh, holy cow. Look at that. Look at that, everyone. Beautiful. Beautiful. Poor Finale, it says. Your main event match was overshowered by a more entertaining second mid-card, leaving fans disappointed at the end. Swapping these two matches would have created a more satisfying finish for your pay-per-view. I do agree. You guys were right. Ricochet and Red Flame probably shouldn't have main evented. Probably should have been in the mid-card. But we were trying something. We tried the level 4 rivalry there to see if it would work. And it really didn't. No injuries for us, which is good. Uh, their show sucked balls, man. That was a huge loss for them. 197,000 fans! Let's go! Let's go! 197k. We almost gained 200,000 fans. $67,000 for that show. We, uh, we gained a little bit of a budget as well, which is good to see. Not 100k, but I'll take it. Wow. All right, my friends. Rating number one. Let me show you. Let me show you again. Boom. How nice does that look to see? Raking number one. Let's go. All right. What'd they pull in? 96,000 fans. Oh, that was a weak card. That is the weakest freaking card they could have put on. What they've been doing? They were beating us in the ratings for the last couple weeks, and then they put on that weak crap? That is some weak, weak, weak stuff right there. They gained $121,000, but I don't care. They lose. They're second in the rating ratings. They're not even close in the ratings. I mean, they're pretty damn close still. But still, we both cracked 2 million viewers, I think, for the first time. Good to see, and we've got our retained fans card on, so we should retain most of the fans that we got from that show, which is good. Four weeks until Extreme Rules, my friends. Uh, Triple H says, hey, I noticed you haven't been making regular use of call-out promos. They're a useful tool for you as a GM. Okay. They can be used to start new rivalries and boost existing ones without tiring your superstars out. Oh, you should always be thinking about current and future rivalries between your superstars to ensure that the audience keeps coming back. He's right about that. Karrion Cross says, thanks for the title rematch. Uh-oh, what's Candice LeRae going to say to us as well? And your new champion once again. Good to have the title back in my hands. Thanks again for the rematch, boss. I appreciate it. And you could... And you earned my respect when you gave me a chance to show that Escobar and I could work as a tag team. Feel like I'm on a roll. This season at NXT. I would agree. Candice LeRae says, I thought I'd left Los Angeles for good. Well, I think I'd better go out there and show them what they've been missing. Is that Candice asking for a match this week? Okay, Candice LeRae expects to make an appearance in front of her home crowd. So we got to get Candice on the show. That makes sense. Uh, we need a commissioner gold to schedule a run-in. On our most popular available star this week. That's easy. Alright. That's pretty damn easy. Corbin could run in on the rock here. Uh, honestly. Yeah. Corbin can run in on the rock. Let's interfere in that one. So Corbin is going to come on down. Interfere on the rock. We're going to get that up to a level 4 rivalry potentially. Oh wait. No. We don't want to do that. There. We want to have rock face. Uh, face literally anyone. Could be literally anyone. Let's do uh let's do Timber. Timber. Or you know what? Let's 
The Rock and who versus uh, we we had Timber and Corbin. Is there anybody else that Timber could go with? Because we've got Woods here, and let's do. Uh, Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's unfortunate. Carrying Cross is the only other one, isn't it? We've done Carrying Cross versus Woods before. Uh, the Rock stamina is low. Oh, wow, is it ever. Holy moly, is it ever low. Uh, okay, what's on the line for this free crew booking? That would be a good card to get. That would be a good card to get. But we need to rest the rock, right? The worst thing would be if the rock gets injured. Right? That would be the worst thing if the rock gets injured. We only have him for a certain amount of weeks and we're paying a lot of money for him. Uh, okay. Let's up that to a level 4 rivalry. Let's just do that. Let's do that and then we can rest him next week. And then we can get the level 4 rivalry the week after that. Okay, cool. That works for me. Main event tonight. Do we have a main event that we can go with? We could do Tegan Shayna again. Uh, we could do Cross Joe again. I thought the rivalry was over, actually, between Cross and Joe. I guess not. Uh, we got Tim Burr and Xavier Woods that could fight. And I guess we have Dunn and Cruz. Okay. We've, we do have some matches, which is good. We do have some matches. Uh, let's get... I, I think, you know what, guys? We're going to do it one more time. Tegan Knox. Oh, no. They're both gassed. Nope. They're off the card. They're gassed, man. What's, who's got high stamina right now? We got Mace... We got Walter, we got Trent, we got Tony, we got Candace Santos, T-Bar, Monsoor, Mandy. All these people that don't have any rivalries. Maybe we should get them into some stuff. We also don't have anything for Ricochet, but he's at 45 stamina. So let's rest him this week. The Red Flame needs to be rested this week. We will get him back. His popularity is at 58. Uh, so I guess opening tag team match. Let's do... Let's do this one again. Let's go back to T-Bar and Mace versus Dunn and Cruz. Let's see if we can elevate that to a level two. Their stamina is great, so we'll make use of that one. No interference, I think. Just a straight up one-on-one -on -one match. Is that our main event? No, if that's going to be our main event, let's make it Extreme Rules. Then... Top two stamina to have a rivalry. I like that. Monsoor and Walter can open up the show then. All right, Monsoor and Walter are going to open up the show. Monsoor and Walter. Volta. Going to open up the show. And now we need a women's match on the card as well. I want to get a promo for Keith Lee here. We got to keep his popularity going. He's at 58. He's dropping heavily in popularity. We need to get him into a title program. I wish... You know what? Hang on. Let me just see something. Does Keith Lee match up well at all against Karrion Cross? Not really. Damn. That's unfortunate. Giant and Bruiser do not work well together. Giant and Cruiser are the way to go. Ah, that's unfortunate, isn't it? All right. Well, we'll get Keith Lee into a promo. 81 stamina. Boom. And then the women's mid card here is going to be... Tony Storm versus... Does Tony have anybody that she works well with? She's a specialist. Not really. Um, so maybe let's get them in tag action. So Tony and... Tony and Kaylee Ray. Will that work? Let's let's get Peyton and let's get Billy there. Who will work well? Shayna. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. We maybe need Mandy Rose to turn babyface. Mandy and Tony could be a good team together. Legit, Mandy and Tony might be a really good team together. Is there anybody else over Tegan that would fit? Or her? Nope, doesn't look that way. All right. 
So Mickey and Tegan, I guess, are going to face off. A oh, no, Tegan's gassed. Uh, Mandy and Tony are going to face off against the Iconics. That's really a crap show. <laughs> That's really a crap show. Uh... Candace did also say she wanted to work in her hometown crowd, so maybe Candace needs to be in here. Candace, is there somebody better to go in there? No. Let's go with the uh, the higher popular star. Let's go Candace and Mandy. All right. So I think that should work. Could we have a run in? Could anybody interfere? Shayna could interfere against uh, against Tony. That could start their feud, but I don't really want to finish. Oh, no, no. We got to finish up their last feud. Okay. All right. We're rolling with this one, guys. This is going to be kind of a uh, kind of a sub-prime show, in my opinion. Um, schedule a run-in on your most popular available star this week. Well, what if we sent Rock away to a health spa? Hang on. We might be able to do this. Who's our next popular star? Who's our next most popular star? It's got to be... It's Karrion Cross. Shoot. Then it's Xavier Woods. If we could send The Rock and Cross away, do we have two power cards? We only have one health spa. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Uh, okay. We need a run-in to get that card. So if if I send the rock off to a health spa to heal up, I would have to use Carrion Cross, which would be just a detriment to our champion. He would get injured. This is just no. We're not going to be able to get the card here today from the looks of it, guys. Unfortunate. Do we have a run-in that we could do? Could anybody, anybody at all, attack Walter or Monsoor? We could have buy a second spa card. Was there one there? <gasps> there was. Oh, I did. I totally missed that. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, guys. Now we might be able to make this work. So if we do that, we can get rid of this match here. We can put Xavier Woods in there, and we could schedule a run. And there's a level two rivalry, and let's have an interference on our most popular star. Who could go after Woods? He's a fighter. Let's have. Is that the only people who can go up against him? What works well with fighters again? Fighters work well with... Uh, with bruisers. Okay. Do we have another bruiser? Or should we sign a bruiser? We might be able to sign a bruiser. Hang on. Let's go check out free agency. Is there a bruiser available that we want to bring in? Cesaro, Elias, Jinder... You know what? Jinder could be good. You know what, guys? I'm bringing in Jinder Mahal. Or Elias. Sami Zayn's permanent as a cruiserweight. Man, that would be huge. And also Rhea Ripley would be big. Reckoning could be big. Um, There's also Silence down here. <laughs> we could bring in Silence. <laughs> we could also bring in Gunther McRider. Oh my goodness. For permanent for $20,000? <laughs> All right, guys. Here are the options, okay? Here are the options. Gunther McRider, Jinder Mahal, or Elias. In those... Those are our options. They're, we're not bringing in silence. Uh, so it's either Gunther McRider or Jinder Mahal or Elias. Who do you guys think? Some people are saying gender. Okay. Sign silence. <laughs> uh, gender, modern name Maharaja. Walk with Elias. Devlin and Elias. We're not signing Devlin. I'm okay without Devlin. We don't need another cruiserweight right there. Gunther, we've... 
Gunther McRider, oh my goodness. Okay, people are saying Gunther McRider, $20,000. Guys, I can't pass up on this. Gunther McRider is coming onto our roster. We're also going to bring on Jinder Mahal, all right? So we're not using Gunther McRider right away, but we're bringing on Jinder Mahal. Ooh, I just... I got asked if I want to sign another lease for 12 months. Let us know. All right. If I'm going to sign a lease for another 12 months, they're putting up a fence in my backyard. That's the breaker. All right. If they want me to sign a year-long lease, they're going to have to put up a fence in the backyard. We've got like a half-assed fence right now. It's like got some holes in it. It's got like some spots where the dog can get underneath. So if they want me to sign for 12 more months, I'm going to need some help from them. I'm going to need them to build the fence. I guess we are coming up on a year here though, aren't we? This May. Wow. This May is going to be a year that we've been here. That's insane. Wow. All right. Anyways, any legends here? Hulk Hogan, Oldberg. All right. Brett, the Hitman fart. I'm joking. I like Brett. <laughs> I like Brett a lot. I don't know why I call him a fart. There we go. So let's do this, my friends. Let's see how much this costs to put on. $165,000. Good stuff. And let's have an interference here. We're going to get Woods run in on. And you know what? Wait, why isn't Woods good to match up against uh, him? Hang on. I thought fighters matched up against bruisers. There it is. Gunther McRider is getting a debut. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. It's Timber. <laughs> it's Timber. But we are getting a debut from Jinder Mahal running in on Woods. This will be a tables match, so there's no DQ. There we go. All right, we have it. Kalo says, get rid of superstars you don't use, like Santos Escobar, and bring someone more useful. Potentially, my friend. Khan, have you thought about doing GM mode where once the draft is completed, you can't use actual wrestlers? You can only use the local talents through the entire 50 weeks? Yeah, uh, I have. I've thought about different ways that we're going to do GM modes. So, you can also do a custom GM mode where you turn all of the roles to just specialist. And then there's no matchup types. There's no fighter versus bruiser. There's no cruiserweight versus giant. You just turn them all to specialist, and then they put on the best matches that you can. That is an interesting idea for GM mode moving forward as well. So it would be the best matches that we can book that the fans can get behind, creating rivalries, creating intriguing matchups, things like that, right? It would be really difficult, but I think I want to try it. And I also think I want to try it with just having the superstars through free agency. like, And I also don't want anybody who's ever been on the main roster. Before. Like, I've got so many different GM modes, guys, planned for you. So if you have not done so, hit that like button. Hit that subscription. All that great stuff. And now we need to use the spa cards as well. Because we've got the run-in on Xavier Woods. So let's get the spa cards used. We need to buy this one for 10000 And then we need to use this right here on... The Rock, I think, or... Yeah, we only have so many weeks left, so let's use that on The Rock. And then let's use this one. Oh, shit! F ah, I clicked the wrong one. Ah, oh, come on, I used two cards on The Rock. Son of a beasting! All right, we got one injury rehab. If Karrion Cross is injured, son of a beasting! Son of a... Oh, come on. All right. We we need to have Karrion Cross in this match. We need to have a uh, run in here. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I guess Cross is going to be... Uh, I guess we'll up their rivalry. Samoa Joe runs in on Cross. Then we'll get the last title match between them next week. Cross versus Woods, I guess. One more time. Sure. Damn, that sucks so much. Ah, I thought I was selecting the card. Okay, so Cross has a really good chance of being injured here. Like a really good chance. But we do have an injury rehab card, so that's good enough. Um. Let's do that. Boom. 
normal match. Now let's turn it into a tables match so the run-in doesn't cause a DQ. All right, everyone. So that's that. I think we've completed our commissioner's goal. Yes, we have. So we get our free crew booking, which is a big card. Jinder Mahal will not be sticking his nose into the show tonight. Um, Rebecca Helfrich says already had Woods up against him. I know, but we need to get Karrion Cross in a match against somebody he matches up against. And there's not too many bruisers, uh, or not too many fighters on our roster. So we don't have much of an option. The only other option that we have is Trent Seven, who just recently turned heel. So that's not going to work. Self promo there. Call him out there. All right, my friends. Wait a second. The Rock has gone to rehab. Rock's gone to rehab. Rock's gone to rehab. We can't have Rock out there. Right? Rock's unavailable. He's busy. So let's do... Let's get... Actually, can Jinder Mahal call anybody out? Oh, he definitely can. Jinder Mahal definitely can. But we're not going to do that. Who else should we call out? We should have Gunther McRider. Who does Gunther call out? None other than Trent Seven. There we go. There we go, my friends. Trent and Gunther are about to enter into a feud. <laughs> oh, I'm here for it. I am so here for it. Uh, unless I'm missing anything, Candice LeRae needs to be on the show. Good. Samoa Joe would partner with Ricochet in a tag match. We can't do that this week from the looks of it. All right. Candice is making an appearance. We're good there. Mickey James' contract is expiring soon. Red Flame's contract is expiring soon. Here we go, my friends. I think the show is ready. Logistics are set. Yes. Let's do it. So we got ourselves Cross versus Woods with a run-in from Samoa Joe, and we will complete that rivalry next week. Uh, Joe and Ricochet in a tag match. Oh, so maybe we don't get that match. Maybe Joe and Ricochet next week, and then the week after that, we have the title match. Okay, that works for me. All right, then, my friends, let's do this. Let's see how our show goes. But before we get any further, make sure you leave a like on this video. One, two, three. Woods beats Cross. Yo, and it's a level four rivalry between Joe and Cross as well. Damn. All right, we got a call out, but no rivalry growing there. We got ourselves Tony Storm and Mickey James. Mandy Rose, Candice LeRae. Let's simulate this one. Two, three. Candice gets the victory in front of her home crowd, but it's only mediocre. Eee, that's not a good match. Keith Lee, promo plus six. Let's go, Big Daddy Keith. And then we got Pete Dunn, Apollo Crews versus T-Bar and Mace. Probably not going to be an excellent main event either. I'm guessing three stars. Apollo Crews and Peter Dune, also known as Butch. Whoa, three and a half. Okay. And the rivalry grows to level two. I'm down with that. All right. Uh, they are got a WWE title match to start things off. They might wipe the floor with us this week. Reigns wins the title. Four-star Reigns and Loomis are in a big rivalry. Oh, man. This is not good for us. One, That's two, not good. Three. Wolf. Okay, two and a half star. Titus O'Neil and Otis. Their rivalry grows. And Natalia. And d d d d d Dana! Natalia picks up the win over d d d d Dana and a mediocre main event. So that's not great. They beat us across the card. So 1.5. But then we tied. You know what? We tied. 1.5 stars. We beat them in the main event. They beat us across the rest of the show. So you know what, guys? I'm happy with that. My opener and main events were the highlights of the show, as they should be, focusing on the quality of your matches for higher show results. Absolutely. All right. So let's see how many fans did we get. Eee, we lost 2,000 fans. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. We gained $102,000 for profit as well. But, man, losing 2,000 fans when we even played that card, that's not good. I guess we did gain 191,000 fans, though. So it's 189,000 in, in the grand scheme of things. But still, yikes. Uh, let's see here. Trent Seven says, Gunther McRider sure spends more time running his mouth than fighting in the ring. Damn. 
All right, we're still number one, though, from the looks of it. They gained, they lost 1,402. Okay, I'm more than okay with that. And they their budget did not beat us either that week. So there we go. All right, we're still number one in the ratings. Three weeks until Extreme Rules, my friends. No, the Red Flame's contract is up. The Red Flame. He says, my contract at NXT is up at the end of the week. Damn, dude. Be interested in staying for 13K? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Red. Let's go. Red is sticking with us. The Red Flame. Mickey James, hey, my contract at NXT is up at the end of the week. Is she worth re-signing is the question. 19K, yes it is. That's reasonable. Yep, Mickey, stick around here. And that conversation, we got Tony Storm saying, hey, Shane, I don't know if you knew this, but I love being in a certain match, and that match is Extreme Rules. Nobody does it better than me. All right, so Tony Storm wants an Extreme Rules match, all right? When does she want to be put in one? Not only do I love it, but the WWE Universe loves watching me in it. I think if you book me in one, you'll see that I wasn't wrong. All right. Uh, Alosa says, can we have a custom GM mode? Yes, we can. That might be the next one that we do, actually. Santos Escobar says... Whoa, there's a bit of a change. Santos Escobar says, hey boss, I have a proposition for you. How about you and I have ourselves a little partnership in the next few weeks? You have my back and I have yours. The fans will love it. I'll love it. What else could you ask for? So how about it? Book me in a match and be in my corner. You got yourself a partnership. Count me in. I'll book you in a match in your corner in the next three weeks. Shane and Santos could be really fun together. Could be really fun together. People are asking for the custom GM mode to be next. Ask and you shall get it, my friends. Custom GM mode will be our next one that we do at the end of these 50 weeks. Awesome stuff. We've been live for an hour and a half already. Wow. All right. Let's go. Robert Roode is a specialist. Permanent. Ali is a permanent. That would be big. Devlin as a cruiserweight as well would be fun. Sami Zayn's no longer permanent. Uh, Lula Tandy down there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware, guy. I'm aware, Jamie Todd. Yeah. We just haven't done it yet. Been doing too much other stuff, but we will get around to checking out all the stuff with GM mode. Okay, my friends? Naya friggin' Jax. Naya friggin' Jax. Alright. So, the next one here. Let's do... What should we do here? What should be on our show? Uh, do we have anything that we have to do? So, we have Tony Storm's a specialty match in an Extreme Rules match. I like that. Samoa Joe, that he'd get a partnership match with Ricochet. So we got to do Samoa Joe and Ricochet versus someone. Did Sami Zayn ever call me back? Nah, he didn't. He never even texted me back. The dude's a jerk. <laughs> we have, have, have to rest Karrion Cross. We have to. Um, that might be worth buying this right here. That That's worth it. Yeah. We got to get Carrying Cross, so let's spend some money on the health spa. We got to use the power card. We got to get him rested. So Carrying Cross needs to be rested here. All right, Rock is still. Oh man, Rock is still off resting up as well. So. Let's go main event here. Do we have a match? Do we have a match? We've got ourselves the NXT Women's Championship we can go with. Tegan Knox and Shayna Baszler can run it back one more time if we wanted to. Or we could try to save it for the pay-per-view and build up the rivalry some more. I know we've seen that a lot, but honestly, at this rate, I don't know what else we go with, right? It's a level. It's almost a level 4 rivalry. I think we need to up it to a level 4. Then we need to go with... Uh, 
We need to do another call out. So Happy Corbin and The Rock need to still fight. So maybe we should have Happy Corbin cut a self promo. Maybe that's what we should do. Then let's go main event. Uh, we've got Timber. We've got T-Bar Mace. So we could do that one. We could do nothing else. Okay. Oh, Samoa Joe and Karrion Cross, But Karrion Cross is off resting up. So let's do... This one? Mason T-Bar, and I guess... We were working with Mansoor there really well. What, what was this one? What was the feud? Mason T-Bar, who was with him? Oh, it was Peter Dunn. It was Butch. That's right. It was Butch. It was Butch. All right, let's get Butch in there. So let's do that for our main event. Uh, interference. Could we have anybody interfere for that? Probably not in the main event. Let's do a Extreme Rules main event. Let's get an open, opening tag team match of Samoa Joe and Ricochet because they wanted to be partnered together, correct? And they can take on... Oh! Do we do it? Do we elevate the red flame? Do we do it? Or do we get a couple of bruisers in there? Do we get a bruiser and... Oh, man. Do we go... Do we go Gunther and Red Flame? Do we do it? The popularity is just not there, is it? Uh, probably Red Flame and Jinder. Let's go Red Flame and Jinder Mahal together. I guess Tim Burr is in there as well. He's got a good popularity. We are building him up. No, we don't need that one. Let's get that one in there. So Tim Burr... Is not going to be in the show. We've got ourselves Jinder Mahal and Red Flame versus Ricochet and Samoa Joe. The Red Flame. <laughs> Just want to double check. Yeah, Karrion Cross and Joe do have a rivalry going on. No interference. Uh, let's just go. A tables match, maybe? Opening match? Alright, and then a women's one-on-one -on -one match would be excellent if we can get a good matchup. Who would be a good matchup? Uh, Shayna Baszler and Tegan Knox. Do we have Shayna? Yeah, we're gonna do the call-out there. Uh, let's do Tony. I, Tony's such a... She's a specialist. I guess it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt to get this rivalry going. So let's do Tony in a match against maybe Mandy Rose. Let's do Tony versus Mandy, okay? There we go. Jamie Todd says, how much for you to stream in a mask and a cape? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't even have a mask and a cape. So you got to cover the cost of that at the bare minimum. Okay. I think this is the one. Extreme Rules with Tony, you think? I think we're okay without Extreme Rules. We got a tables and we got Extreme Rules match. Uh, Macho, I don't know, my man. I don't know what you mean by that. I saw your DM. I don't know what you mean by that. So, it's up to you. I, 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 I If it's out of, uh, out of pocket, I won't play it. That's all I'll say. All right. So, here we go. She wanted Extreme Rules. You're right, Tony did want Extreme Rules. You're right, you're right, she did. Sorry, I'm wrong on that one. You guys got a good memory. Man, there's a lot to remember in this one. Okay, so this is going to be a, an expensive friggin' show. Friggin' expensive, man. $190,000 to put this one on. They best kill it. Um, to the moon. Yo, who could we up? Oh, their popularity could skyrocket. That's huge. 
Oh, shoot. I also needed a GM interference, right? That's in the next three weeks. Okay, so we can't do that here today. Uh... Let's make that a TLC instead. Just, just a little bit more expensive. So it's going to cost us $200,000 here. I think that's good. I think we're good. All right, I'm happy with that. If you guys are happy with that, give me a hell yeah. I think we can win. Let's do it. A $200,000 show. You get two tag matches and a women's mid-card match. TLC, Extreme Rules, and Tables. Holy what? Go Gamer! Yeah, baby! Holy moly! What? $50 dono from Go Gamer. Let's go! Thank you, my friend. Holy poop McGee. Go Gamer, you get yourself two entry into the CMU draw. Go Gamer. Let's go. Thank you, my friend. Wow. That's so kind of you. Carlton Johnson says, and need to do five men championship match to hit five star. What? All right, let's do it. Who is gonna win? One, two, two three. three. Samoa Joe and Ricochet beat Red Flame and Jinder Mahal. It was just a great match. They just put on a great match. I'm okay with that. Good opener. Let's get this promo, get it up to a level four rivalry. Let's go. That's gonna be our match next week, isn't it? Okay. Then we got ourselves... Tony Storm versus Mandy Rose, one-on-one. -on -one. One, two, three. You guys are going to like that one. You guys are going to like that one, aren't you? New rivalry, Storm and Rose. Level one rivalry, but Tony gets the victory. That's what I'm talking about. Now we got a self-promo from Happy Corbin. Come on. Oh, he doesn't get any. That was a waste of $2,500. Randy Sam says, Subcon man, WWE tweeted, who should face RK Bro? Do I think MSK is getting called up tonight? I don't think so. Not this close to WrestleMania. Maybe after Mania. Here's the main event. Pete Dunn, Apollo Crews versus T-Bar and Mace. TLC. One, two, three. T-Bar and Mace win. Whoa. Whoa. Four and a half star classic. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Raw, we put on a banger of a show. Good luck. One, two, three. Becky Lynch is the women's champion over there on Raw. And they got a four star opener. Uh oh. Are they coming for my neck? Raul Mendoza gets plus one. Oh, this is a level four rivalry. This might actually be a tough one. This might be a really tough one to win. Oh, mediocre. <laughs> ah, weakish. Ivar and Strong. Their rivalry grows. And then we got ourselves a TLC main event over there. So they're following suit. This one actually might be really good. Alexander Wolf and Otis. Uh oh. Three and a half star. Oh, that was tight. That was really tight. We still beat them. But it was really, really tight. Beat them by one star. So there we go, my friends. Big, big night for us. What? How'd we lose 919 viewers? How? How'd we lose that many viewers? How, who, who clicked off the show? I put on an Extreme Rules, a Tables match, and a TLC match for you. How'd you click off the show? I would have stuck around. I would have watched that whole thing. $74,000 in total profit slash loss as well. Uh, we got the health spa. We're still ranking number one. That's good. Hopefully they lost some fans. No, they gained fans. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. They gained their fans. So they're gaining on us some more. We're two weeks until extreme rules though, my friends. Monsoor says, oh, shoot. Wow. Really, Monsoor? Really? 
You're going to take your ball and go home. Things aren't working out at NXT. I'm ready to tear up my contract and move on. You refused to pay me any loyalty bonus before, but nothing else is going to cut it. I gave you a chance to fix things, and you blew it, so I'm out of here. Screw you, Monsoor. <laughs> Con, it was me. I clicked off. You never got AJ Styles. Gotcha. <laughs> Versatile says, I haven't played my GM mode until I found out it's BS. I'd rather stick with universe mode. What's it's BS there, my friend? It's okay if you'd rather stick universe mode, but I'm actually having a ton of fun playing GM mode. This this game mode, seriously, it's got all the potential in the world moving forward. Samoa Joe said, I told you Ricochet and I really hit it off as a tag team last night, or last week. Thanks for pairing us up. We're looking forward to the next tag match. Did I hear the crowd last week? And we got our first tag team win. I knew Ricochet and I would kill it. You just keep putting us in tag matches and we'll keep delivering the ratings. Glad you're looking out for me. Let's keep this up. All right. Huge, 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 huge. Once again there, Go Gamer. Thank you so much, man. That's incredibly kind of you for that donation. And that big old 50 bucks. What? Oh my goodness, he just... What? You just dropped a hundred dollars! What are you doing? Oh my lord! Go gamer, let's go! What? <laughs> Thank you! You're kidding! Thank you! Go gamer! Go, go, go gamer! You get three entries again, go gamer! Three entries into the CMU draw. Wow, man. Thank you. And thank you for your support on this channel starting us off. That's amazing. Let's get a Go Gamer chant. Go, go, go gamer. Go, go, go gamer. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Wow. Wow, man. All right. Let's get back to this. <laughs> uh, we Little Liv. Little Liv. She's a cruiserweight, though. We don't have too many uh, giants in the women's division. Brian Kendrick will keep him away from there. My goodness. Uh, Rollins, I guess, would be fun. As a specialist, it makes the matchups very difficult, I would say. Uh, Oliver James says, Your streams are always so fun and entertaining. You deserve all the plaudits. Favorite streamer by far. Thank you, Oliver. So kind of you for those kind words. My oh my. All right. Let's do it. So, I don't think... I don't think anybody is gonna work for us. Liv doesn't fit into our roster. Lana could. Which, I hate to say it, Lana might be one of the best options that we have available to us to fill out the women's roster. Raquel as a giant would be big, but like, matchup's not there. And no, not a chance. Not a chance. You know, you know what, everyone? You know what? You know what? Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to do. Hey Kalisto, you want to come to Monday? You want to come to NXT? You want an offer? You want an offer? You, you want this, uh, Kalisto? You want to come to our show, huh? You loser, huh? Now you're not getting invited. Now you're a loser. You suck, Jake or Brick or Dark. You suck. I don't know what I just said. It wasn't English, but man, you suck, Kalisto, ka loser. <laughs> All right, uh, so there's nobody there. Nobody there. So let's go with... There's this match. We're two weeks out. We're two weeks out. We've got two level four rivalries. Um... This is actually, you know what, guys? This is a really good question here for everyone in the chat who has figured it out. If I put on a level four rivalry on the NXT show and we're two weeks out from a pay-per-view, does that end the rivalry? 
or does the rivalries only end at the pay-per-view? What do you guys think? Because we have two level four rivalries that we could extend all the way to the pay-per-view if we wanted to. Or we could put them on here tonight and get a banger of a show and then try to build up some more stuff for the pay-per-view. What do you think? What do you think? I'm just reading the chat right now. That is so not required there, Go Gamer. That is so not required. Thank you. You've done more than enough already, buddy. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Um... It won't last longer than two weeks. You might get lucky with it lasting one week after if you don't book them. Pay-per-view. What if we put them in... Get a banger show, to be honest? Okay. All right, let's get a banger of a show, then. Let's do this one in the main event. I think they're more popular, right? 65 and 59 instead of 63 and... Yeah, 56. Yeah, so this will be our main event here tonight. Carrying Cross Samoa Joe title match. We're gonna get a banger of a show going on. Wait, what is have your most popular and least popular female fight each other? Oh, most popular male. Well, little, 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 that's not a male sign. Most popular available face and heel females fight each other this week. That is such a weird way to uh, to mark it. We also got a match with Santos Escobar that we got to interfere in, so that's got to be next week, right? Um, let's go with, uh, let's go Shayna. Yeah, Shayna Teagan. There it is. Get that as extreme rule. Actually, you know what? We should up this to a, you know what? Screw it. Let's go hell in a cell with that one. Extreme rules right there. And what was the other one that I needed? Um, they say you don't want to book this. You don't want to book it because they ruin, then it won't go all the way. But I don't know if our level four rivalries will continue to the pay-per-view. And we need a tag match, don't we? So let's, let's get a tag match here in the middle of the card. I think we actually have a rivalry that could work. Yeah, this one could work again. We also have Burr and Corbin. Versus Rock and Woods that we could go in on. Uh, we also have the Dunn and Cruz matchup. Let's run back. Uh, we don't want to run that back two weeks in a row. So let's do Rock and then let's do Corbin and Timber. Let's get that one going again. <laughs> Freaking Timber and Happy Corbin because he's just a happy, happy Corbin. He's just a happy Corbin. So there we go. Tag rivalry level one out of four. Oh, shoot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. That's not the commissioner's goal. Um, so most popular baby face, most popular heel. Okay. Is that right? Not fulfilled. Oh, because I didn't press actual book. There, there we go. What? No way you just dropped another 50, Go Gamer. Oh my goodness, buddy. Thank you. Oh my goodness. What in the world? What in the world, man? Thank you. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Buddy, you're killing it right now. Another two entries. Wow. Competing with Samuel Vlogs, my man. Competing with Samuel Vlogs to get in. The, the draw could be anyone. The draw, once again, will happen tonight on the mainstream over on Conman167. This dude's a maniac, man. Thank you, Go Gamer. Uh, so, oh, is it female? Oh, it's female. My bad, everyone. My bad, my bad. Female. Popularity. So we need the most popular baby face, which is Tony Storm. We want them to be in a tag match so that we have some variety. Versus our... 
least or our most popular heal, which would be Mandy Rose. Is that right? Let's put Kaylee Ray with her. Is that right? Not fulfilled. Have your most popular available female fight each other. Is that not the most popular? One on one available. Oh, hang on, hang on, it's Shayna. Hang on, hang on, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, okay. Shayna's my most popular heal. She can go up against uh, most popular baby face, which is Tegan. Which is what I had, right? Is that not our most, what the, what the heck? Hang on, one sec. Popularity. Shayna and Tony. Oh, it's Shayna and Tony. Oh, it's Shayna and Tony. Okay. All right. Shayna and Tony. That works. So Shayna and Tony Storm, wherever Tony went, there she is. Shayna and Tony are going to have a match, tables match, but we're going to have interference from Tegan Knox. And they'll keep their rivalry at a level four. It's going to be a blood feud going back into the pay-per-view. There we go. Commissioner's goal has been met. And then we need a tag team match right here in the middle. Let's do The Rock and Woods versus Corbin and Timber again. All right, let's do that one. Normal match. Yep, works for me. Uh, Yeah, that works for me. Unless we want to build up a rivalry interference on Woods. Could anybody attack Woods? Who would be really good? Anybody, anybody, anybody. He's a bruiser. Or a fighter, so a bruiser would work really well. Gunther McGrider. Gunther McGrider or Jinder Mahal. You know what? I'm going to have Jinder Mahal run in. We're going to try to elevate that feud some more. Let's make that a tables match as well. Actually, no. Let's make it... In Extreme Rules, and I just kind of messed that up. Uh, let's fix that again. Extreme Rules, there we go. All right. I like to see this. I like to see this. And also, everyone, I've got something... I, I think somebody brought it up beforehand. It was not my idea. But would you guys like to do, like, a custom universe mode where we stream it? And it's not going to be, like, with custom superstars or anything. But, like, we make the matches... And it's based off what you guys want to see. So I could title it something like Universe Mode, but my viewers make the decisions or something like that. Would you guys be interested in seeing something along those lines? Uh, we got to get Apollo Crews' rivalry up. Oh, but that's tag rivalry, I guess. Keith Lee is starting to fade into obscurity. Let's do a call out. Keith Lee, we need to call out or be called out by someone. Who should call out Keith Lee? Big Daddy Keith about to be called out. Uh, we don't have any cruisers that make sense against Keith Lee, do we? Santos Escobar. I guess we've had that rivalry before, but... What if... Hang on. Hang on. Who do we turn heel? Cruz or Ricochet? Who is turning heel, my friends? Apollo Cruz or Ricochet? Who is turning heel? One of them is going to turn heel. One of them. We're going to do it right now. This is happening right here, right now. I'm going to wait for you guys to give me your answer. Viewer verse mode, exactly. Ricochet sounds interesting. Hell yes, lots of people interested in that. So Ricochet, Ricochet, Ricochet. Oh my everyone. Ricochet is turning heel. We are going to give Ricochet his first heel run here in the WWE. Okay. All right. Ricochet is changing over to the dark side. The bigger star turning heel is always better. Here, what? I'm just counting. Go Gamer saying Ricochet. Cruz says Aloha. Aloha. 
Losa, I guess, is your name. Uh, like Cruz as a heel more than a face. Ricochet. I'm doing it. I'm turning Ricochet heel. I want him to go up against Keith Lee. That's the match that I want to have. And then let's have a call out from Mandy Rose on Tony Storm. Let's just up that rivalry some more. Oh, wait. Hang on. Tony Storm is already in action, but that's okay. That's okay. Because Tegan Knox is running in on Shayna, then we'll get that rivalry up. There we go. I like that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, my friends. Let's get the logistics. Boom. All right. Confirm booking. $217,000. Do we have anyone that I really want to get? I really don't think anyone fits into our current roster, unfortunately. Hate to say it, but nobody fits in. Nobody fits in. So that's that. Let's go. Confirm the booking. I hear you there, Thor. Maybe that'll happen soon. Maybe it will. But before we start this show, my friends, make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to all that great stuff. We've been live for two hours and seven minutes. It is just about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've got about another... Another 45 minutes ahead, okay? So we are going to be live. We're going to get through the pay-per-view. We're going to get to the other side of the pay-per-view. Uh, book that entire show. Watch some matches. And then we'll be done after Extreme Rules. Okay, my friends? So here we go. Here is NXT. Shayna Baszler versus Tony Storm is our opening match. One-on-one -on -one tables with a run-in from Tegan Knox. One, two. Tony gets the dub. That's a huge win for Tony. Mediocre start, but I don't care. Th this show is all about building up the rivalries all the way to the pay-per-view, minus our main event. The main event is there to help draw uh, and pop a good rating. All right. Hell in a Cell main event, by the way. Extreme rules match between Xavier Woods and The Rock versus Tim Burr and Happy Corbin with a run-in from Jinder Mahal. One, two, three. And the heels win. Happy Corbin and Timber pick up the dub. Wow. Berserker Ronot says, Your GM streams are great. It helps me get through my work day. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that compliment. I love creating them, and I don't want to see them go away anytime soon. In fact, I don't plan on them going away anytime soon. This has been such a... A fun start to WWE 2K22. And I just want to see us continue to create more. By the way, thank you so much for 2,339 subscribers. We've gained like almost 1,000 subscribers in the last week. It's just incredible. Thank you guys. Almost doubling our sub count. Uh, then we got our main event here. Cross and Samoa Joe. Hell in a Cell. Let's see it for the NXT title. Who's going to win? Karrion Cross defends the title. It was a classic, and the rivalry is still at level four. That's what I'm talking about. Reigns and Loomis going right back to work. Loomis beats Reigns for the WWE title. They put on a classic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this isn't looking good for me. One, two, three. This is not looking good. Dana! No! That's not good. No way. Go Gamer dropping another 20. Holy moly. Thank you, my man. <laughs> I can't believe how much you've dropped. That is just so incredibly kind. Thank you, buddy. Getting that other entry. Best of luck with the draw. I hope you win. I actually hope a lot of people win, but you've been dropping heat tonight, my man. Thank you. And there's their main event, Alexander Wolf and Otis, three and a half star. They kicked us. They, they kicked our ass. They kicked our ass. Uh, there's just no other way to say it. They kicked our booties. Beat us by 1.5 stars. Yikes. That opener cost us. The opener between Shayna and Tony did not work. Go gamer, Seriously, buddy. Thank you again. So we gained 1,000 fans. Uh-oh. And only 58,000. Um, that's not good. That's not good. It's not good. That's not good. Uh-oh. 
They gain 12,000. Uh-oh. They're on our tail. They're on our tail. Oh, <laughs> they're pushing, my friends. Ooh, all right. One week until Extreme Rules. Tim Burr says, hey, my contract at NXT is up at the end of the week. What's it going to cost? 14K? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Tim. We'll keep Tim around for a little bit. I like Tim. You guys like Tim. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, Peyton Royce is about to leave us. I've had enough crap working at NXT. has been a complete joke. The only way to stay is a 100K bonus. I don't think so, Peyton. Walk. Oh, you're giving you one last chance. Well, thank you for giving me one last chance. I'm so proud of you. Happy Gorman says, hey, McMahon, you've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I can do more for the brand. I'm ready to run a main event match, and I know the fans will be excited for it. Sure thing. Yeah, uh, sure thing. I I'm more than okay with that. Let's do Happy Corbin versus Rock this week. Main event, Happy Corbin versus Rock. I'm more than okay with that. Level one rivalry. Uh, let's make it a uh, let's make it a banger. Let's make it a TLC just to be fun. Then let's go here. Uh, do we have any ones that we need to do? We need to do a r interference on behalf of Santos Escobar. So let's do that in the mid card here. Interference from the GM. Let's get Santos Escobar in a tag match. Santos and Cross together. That works if Cross wasn't so gassed. Uh, versus who? Versus who? Who could work? We got Keith Lee. And... Oh my god, let's turn the Red Flame babyface. Let's do it. Let's do it. The Red Flame has got to go babyface. We need a babyface giant along with Keith Lee. It's happening. It is happening. Roll change. Right here. The Red Flame. <laughs> the Red Flame is changing roles and he's going to be a babyface for us. I can't believe it. Uh, okay, so maybe we need to do a tag match to open then instead. What rivalry matches do we have that we could do? We could do... We could do Pete Dunne and Cruz versus T-Bar and Mace again. Yeah, that's a good opener there. What's our schedule? I run in on one of your champions this week. Son of a bee sting. All right. So let's do... Let's do it, all right? One of our champions, Karrion Cross, is gassed. Oh, man, that means Santos Escobar doesn't get his run in. Um, I want to keep Santos happy because we don't have many cruiserweights from the heel side of things. We did just turn Ricochet, though. We did just turn Ricochet. Maybe we do Santos. Let's do Santos and Ricochet as a tag team to take on the team of Keith Lee and... You guys aren't going to like it, but it's what we got to do because we don't have another giant this week. That will... Unless there's a specialist. Hang on. Is there a babyface specialist that we have? Do we not have a specialist? Ah, we don't. All right, uh, Gunther McRider as a bruiser could go in there. Go, Gamer, my man. Go, you. Look at you go. Another 10 bomb. Holy moly. Thank you, buddy. You know, you can um, you can also attach a comment to those donations if you'd like to highlight anything. It reads it out right here in the stream chat, my man. Thank you again. Holy moly. Uh, so, Commissioner goal would be to schedule a run-in. I guess we can't do that. The Health Spa 3 is a good card, but... Like, I don't know what we would do. We, we'd have to put Shayna in there. We'd have to do a run-in from Tegan Knox. Shayna would be gassed for the pay-per-view. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work for me. But speaking of power cards, maybe let's pa let's double the cost of the matches next week for them. Let's, let's drain them of their funds. Let's also do... Uh, no, none of these. Unless we want somebody's popularity to skyrocket. Don't think that's what we're after this week, though. Do 
Do I give this to Cross? You know what, guys? I think I need to give Carrying Cross the health spa. We're giving Carrying Cross the health spa. He'll be back for next week. We just need that. We don't want him to get injured, so let's do that. And... Uh, we can either do the Santos on the run. No, 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 no. Santos. Tag team. But let's sign somebody. Let's sign somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who do we have in here? We got Charlotte Flair as a specialist. We have Murphy as a specialist. Jeff Hardy. <gasps> Cruiserweight. Babyface Hardy. Oh, I like that. I like that. We could get Monsoor back for a hundred K, but we don't want we don't need that. Jeff Hardy. Yo, do we bring in the charismatic enigma? 198k for permanent. Let we're doing it. We're bringing in Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is officially on the roster. Damn, let's go. Let's go. Alright, tag team time. Let's get. Let's get the tag team of... You know what? Screw it. One-on-one. -on -one. This might not be the best matchup, but I'm doing it. I am doing it. Oh, shoot. Actually, you know what? No tag team. Let's, let's do this. Let's do... Let's get Santos in there. And let's get Keith Lee in there. Then let's do Ricochet... And let's do... Where did Jeff go? There's Jeff. There's Jeff. Let's do that one. All right. That is pretty good. That's a pretty damn good matchup, if you ask me. And let's go Extreme Rules with Interference. Having the GM join in. Whoops. GM Interference. Only available with normal matches. Okay. That's fine with me. GM interference. And then we're going to get him going down into the corner of Santos Escobar. Oh, ho, ho. all right. All right, everyone. Using a GM interference will update this match to a no DQ and the limit the match to single player with options to only play as the GM or simulate the match. Yes, 100%. We are going with that. So that's happening there. We got no women's matches on our card, though. So let's fix that. Um, let's get the ladies on here. Who deserves a matchup? Tony Storm and Mandy Rose can have a tables match. Use Walter instead of Ricochet. Walter's a heel. I don't think that's what I'm after right now. Um... And who needs their popularity to go up? I guess... I guess we could do a call-out, couldn't we? Let's let's do a call-out between... No, let's just do self-promo. Let's do self-promo. Let's do a self-promo from... Oh, man. Joe is struggling. Joe is gassed. That's not good. Self-promo from Knox, maybe? Self-promo from Dunn? Self-promo from Tim Burr, right? He's not in a match at this point. No, I haven't used Tim Burr. We're going to use Tim Burr! And you know what? Let's let's just do it as a call out instead. Actually, Tim Burr and Woods continue to have their rivalry grow. I, you know what? Let's do it. Screw it. Let's do it. There we go. All right. I like this. We got the role change. The Red Flame is becoming babyface. You know you guys love the Red Flame, so we're gonna make Red Flame one of our mega stars here. Then we got Mandy Rose, Tony Storm, level two rivalry. We've got a Commissioner's Goal that we are failing, but we're gonna get Santos Escobar. His partnership with Shane that he wants. Then we got a TLC match between The Rock and Happy Corbin. All right. I think this is it. I think this is it. 
Let's do it. $188,000 to put on this show. We need a good one. Going in to Extreme Rules. Here we go. All right, Mandy, Tony, tear the house down. One, two, two three. three. Mandy picks up the dub. Yo, Tony's not going to like that. Two and a half stars to start off the show. That's not a good start. That's really not. We got an excellent promo from the Red Flame. The Red Flame is now babyface, everyone. Now we got Ricochet and Santos versus Jeff Hardy and Keith Lee. What a cool tag team that would have been. One, two, three. Santos and, e Santos and Escobar. Santos and Ricochet pick up the win. We got a level one rivalry, though. You know what? I'll take the level one rivalry. It's mediocre. This is not a good show so far. We're at a level two rivalry there. And then let's simulate this one. one two, two, three. The Rock beats Happy Corbin in only a level three main event. Uh, oh, we're going to get rocked here. Oh, they got two title matches. Oh, we're going to get rocked. We're going to get absolutely rocked here today. Oh, goodness. No, Dexter. Dexter, Dexter, oh god, four star, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is a rivalry match too, Ivar, three star, oh no, oh no, they got so many level four rivalries growing, what is happening, Carmella and Lynch now, no, 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 oh my god, Lynch wins, oh my gosh. Oh, we got decimated. <laughs> oh, we got wrecked. Wow. Oh. <gasps> it wasn't even close. Oh, we lost 7,000 fans. Ah, uh, it's not good. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That's not good. $86,000. Oh, let's get some Fs in the chat, man. They gained 5,000 fans. Yikes. They are pushing towards us. They're still ranking number two. We need this to be a big pay-per-view. Like, we need this to be massive. We need this to be our, one of our best shows. Here it is, Extreme Rules. All right. Please don't use any cards on me. That's my big worry. Jinder Mahal says, hey, my contract at NXT is up at the end of the week. I'd like to bring it back. 15K, sure thing, Jinder. All right, Jinder is back. We got Samoa Joe saying my contract is up. How much is he going to want? Uh, 62K. All right, I can do that. Yeah, Joe, I can do that, buddy. Okay, Santos Escobar says, good thing I can trust you to keep your word. That's important to me. Glad that you're giving me the kind of respect I deserve. Jeff Hardy says, did I do something I make you upset? Just wondering why you intentionally helped Santos out during our match, but not give me the heads up ahead of time. Not cool, Shane. Our new signee, Jeff Hardy, does not like us right now. Uh-oh. Man, it's been a really up and down season for me at NXT. You just got here, Jeff. Chill out, Jeff. Chill. We'll, we'll get you in some matches. We'll get you in some stuff. Jeff Hardy, go out there and cut a self-promo. Get happy with the fans again, okay? Just get happy again, all right? Just get happy. Uh, main event is going to have to be Karrion Cross versus Samoa Joe. Joe is in a rough spot, though. I do not care. This is going to be Hell in a Cell main event. They're going back inside the cell. They're doing it. All right, they're doing it. Doing it. Joe might be hurt after this, though. That's not good. Uh, let's go with one-on-one -on -one opening. Yeah, the, the women's match here. In fact, you know what? No, I'm going to change things up. I have a feeling that the women's match is going to light up the house. So I'm going to give Knox and I'm going to give Baszler a Hell in a Cell main event. Yes, branded it. Pay-per-view bonus is Extreme Rules. We'll do that for the other title match. So there we go. Let's do that. Then this one is going to be Joe versus Cross.
We're gonna go Extreme Rules this time. Title match. Yes, let's get this as a title match. Boom. Let's go with... You gotta put Jeff Hardy in Extreme Rules match, bro. Come on, LOL, or a ladder. Well, he doesn't have any feuds really going on. Unless the, unless we can't fill the card. Then we'll get Jeff Hardy in something. Uh, then we need, I guess, a tag team match right here. I guess this makes sense to have this one here. We've had this match a few times already. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, that one right there. So that should be fine. Should be a fine match. And let's make that a another Extreme Rules match. Okay. Then let's get Rock versus Corbin. This one can be TLC, right? We don't have any TLCs. So far. actually, this one can be a tables match. You know what? Screw it. Let's make it Extreme Rules as well. It's Extreme Rules. The only one is Hell in a Cell in the main event. That one's worthy of it. And then, let's get a call-out. Tim Burr and Xavier Woods continue their feud together. Let's get, a, let's get a charity one. Who should go out there? None other than Mr. Popular, Keith Lee, going out to cut that charity promo. All right. You know what? You got... Uh, no, no, no. We're going hell in a cell. Ms. K Production says, no, 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 no. Extreme Rules main event. Why is that? Why, why is that? Why do we do the Extreme Rules in the main event here? We get the uh, the pay-per-view type match bonus here. Match type bonus. Uh, Tony Storm is not booked right now. Do we have to do anything else? Oh, we got the big stadium available. Good. We'll get, you, we'll get Tony, okay, Thor? I know you want to see Tony Storm, but don't you worry. We will get Tony moving forward. We do have some stuff. Uh, Mi Bad Guy Falcon says, am I going to use Mickey James or the Inspiration? Well, the Iconics are not being used very well. I mean, our women's division is not being used great, are they? Let's let's check and see if we've got a women's mid-card match that we could put on. We just don't. We, we don't have one, I don't think. Let's clear this one just to make sure. Yeah, we don't really have... I guess Mandy Rose and Tony Storm could light up the house. So that's either taking off the... Yeah, you know what? Let, let's do that. Let's let's get um, let's get Mandy Rose and Tony Storm on the card. Okay, you guys are asking for it, so let's do it. Let's make that Extreme Rules. No, never mind, never mind. We need the tag match for some variety. Sorry, everyone. We need the tag match. Tony's not making the card. It's going to be these two versus these two again. Extreme rules, boom. All right, I like that. Can we have interference in the main event? Oh, hang on. Tony could attack Shayna. <gasps> Let's do it. Let's do it. Tony attacks Shayna in the main event. All right, guys. That. Oh, wait. That means we can't simulate... Or we can't watch the main event, though. We want to watch the main event. No, never mind, never mind. Tony will get her time, all right? Tony's time is coming. Maybe instead of Jeff Hardy... Or maybe... You know what? Tony. Tony can do the charity promo. That'll make you happy. There we go, guys. That'll make you happy. All right. Now we got it. So we got ourselves Samoa Joe carrying cross, Jeff Hardy with a self-promo. We got Mason T-Bar versus Pete Dunne and Apollo Crews, a level two rivalry. This is level four, by the way, up here. Then we're going to get this rivalry upped. We're going to try to get that to a level four rivalry along the way. The Rock versus Happy Corbin. What's Commissioner's goal? Really? Really? Really, your goal on a pay-per-view is to rest your current champions this week? Triple H, you can take a triple F off out of here, okay? I'm not doing that. All right, so... 
Yeah, and then, then we got Rock versus Corbin, and then the main event, Shayna Baszler versus Tegan Knox, level four rivalry as well. So we got some pretty decent rivalries on the show. We got a call out to up that one. We got a charity promo to get some more fans. We got Hardy there. Logistics. Big stadium. But we go here for the pay-per-view bonus, right? I, I do kind of want to purchase the big stadium as well. 100,000. That puts us down to 520,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we got the big stadium there. So we could get... No, we need to go at Extreme Rules. We, we got to have the pay-per-view bonus there. It looks like it's... Oh, uh, weird. Very weird, guy. You know what? We can make so much more money with doing this. What's the bonus? What's the difference with the bonus? Like, do we go bonus or do we go bigger arena? What do you guys think? Bonus or bigger arena? If we choose that, pay-per-view bonus applied, we probably should do that, right? Probably. Yeah, that makes the most amount of sense. Go with the pay-per-view one, right? I think. Bonus. All right. People are saying the bonus. Good to have all of you in here once again, by the way. If you have not done so, drop that like on this video. We are also getting pretty damn close to reaching 3,000 subscribers. If you guys would like to subscribe to this channel. All right, my friends, we are currently sitting at 2,000. One sec. 2,342. So this road to 3,000 subs continues. It's fantastic to see. Uh, so make sure you guys hit that subscription. Turn on your notifications. Lots of WWE 2K content coming to this channel, okay, my friends? Lots of 2K content. So a lot of people are saying bonus, 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 and use the power cards for free stuff. I like that thinking right there. So let's get some free special effects. That drops the cost of the show down a little bit from the looks of it. Yeah, $225,000. And let's do how expensive is the ring crew, veteran crew this week. Ooh, hang on. The McMahon family for $75,000. let us get that one. And then let's use this, the free crew booking. GM Interference book this week will provide a... Oh, I should have used that. Shoot, I should have used that. Okay. Uh, And is there anybody who is going to be in the ring this week that we need to up their popularity? Nope, not yet. Not yet. We're going to use that when we really need to. Okay, my friends. So we've been neck and neck with Monday Night Raw. We have not... Taken off in the ratings, though, we've been pretty consistent just over the 2 million mark. But NXT is outdrawing out drawing Monday Night Raw right now. All right, here we go, my friends. When you get a venue, check the optional booking. If it's not checkmarked, it's kind of a waste of money. Yes. I do agree with you. It is kind of. I, I've noticed that. A few more clips. We're good, buddy. We've already got the optional goal right here. Um, it's just the question is, guys, do we bump it? Do we bump it up to the big stadium? I, I don't know if we do. Uh, see the big stadium, lots more capacity. Show quality is plus ten percent. What do you guys think, man? It's actually... I don't know what's proper. Like, do we do the branded pay-per-view bonus? I think we do. I think we gotta go to the actual pay-per-view show. We gotta actually go to Extreme Rules to get great bonuses for our show. But I feel like we can make so much more money there. It's like $15 a ticket and 35,000 seats versus $12,512 a ticket. I don't know. Um... People are still saying pay-per-view. We've got the free advertisements. We got the free 
Oh, do we have free advertisements? Ah, we do. There we go. Let's do it. Let's just go all in on this one. Let's make some good money. Yeah, just do the pay-per-view. Makes more sense. Make more money there, but you know what? We just saved ourselves a lot of money. That's what we just did. Okay, there we go, guys. That's what we did. We saved ourselves a lot of money, so we don't need to go to the big arena uh, because the ticket sales that will offset that is being covered by our power cards. There we go. All right. Here we go. This is Extreme Rules. Joe is in trouble, but we are going to start things off with this Extreme Rules match, spectating it. And remember, this is our final pay-per-view of the day. It is our final show of the day, uh, and we will be finishing off GM mode after this. Look at this. Yo, look at this arena. All right, let's go. It's Samoa Joe time. So make sure you guys leave that like. Let's get this up to 200. We're five likes away. But chant it with me. Joe, 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 Joe. William Liratakis, I hope I pronounced your name right, says, When do I stream, bro? Pretty much every day. Uh, between my main channel, which is Conman167, which has over 100,000 subscribers. If you want to check it out, that's the beautiful play button. Our main channel, we are live pretty much anytime WWE is live. We do what is called a watch along. So I react to the Monday Night Raw show, the NXT show, AEW. Uh, pay-per-views, all that great stuff. We react to that over on the Conman167 channel. We also have news videos that go up over there. And then over here, I'm trying to stream every day. I don't know if it's going to be possible every single day, but with the viewership that we've got right now, I'm beyond pumped. And I'm going to try my best to get some sort of WWE 2K video out to you guys every single day. Right now, I think what you can expect is you can expect me to be live around 10... 30, 11 a.m. every single day. Somewhere around there, you can expect me to be live. And if I'm not live, chances are there's going to be a video later in the day. Oh, boy. It's time for the NXT champion, Mr. Fall and Prey. It's Carrion Cross. And Go Gamer dropping another 10. Seriously, dude, thank you so much. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, my man. You have been incredibly kind. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Hey, King of Death, good to see you here. Good to have you. A few more clips. Appreciate that, buddy. You're so dope for being in here watching me. All right, we got to say it, though. Channel your inner performance center with no fans in attendance. Say it loud and say it proud. Ready? Pound and pray. Pound and pray. Pound and pray. Pound and pray. <laughs> God, that was the worst. The performance center. With this, with the crowd being dead as dead got. Yeah, I don't know how they missed the mark with this guy. Seriously. I don't know how they missed the mark with him. He was so damn entertaining as NXT champion. All right. Time to get the poll up here on the screen. Who will win? It's either going to be Samoa Joe or it's going to be Carrion Cross. Introducing the, the horror show. From Huntington Beach, California, 
weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. And introducing the champion from Sin City. Weighing in City. at 265 pounds, he is the end. Here we go, my friends. Let's get into it. Also, I'm just taking a quick look at Twitter here. I, I'm trying to keep up to date on the Scott Hall situation right now. Um, I don't know much more on it. Yeah. We love Scott Hall, though, and I hope he's okay, but it's, um, it wasn't looking good earlier today, and I don't know the latest on him. So sad about Scott Hall. I am here to try to take you guys' minds off it, though, but can we get an RIP Scott Hall here in the chat? It, it's not looking good. I know he hasn't passed away, at least the last time I checked. He was taken off life support, though, so maybe not RIP. Let's get prayer emojis in the chat for Scott Hall. That's probably better. Uh, prayer emojis in the chat right here for Scott Hall, everybody. Prayer emojis, my friends. Maybe we can pass it on. I misspoke there just for a second. My bad, everybody. Now, here we go. Oh, man. Carrying cross. Elbows right to the top of the head. Carrying now with a right hand. Uh-oh, around the back. Carrying cross with an Olympic slam. I literally, I said the wrong thing there, Crypto World. I was trying to correct myself. It's part of being live. Sometimes you misspeak. Uh-oh, boot right there. Oh, Joe, what is this? Cross arm breaker. Oh my goodness, Carrying cross is in a little bit of trouble. Little bit of trouble here. But now Carrying getting right back up, and there's a punch right to the face. Joe now eats a chop right to the chest and carry in again. Gonna grab him across the back of the head. Right hand to the face and Cross going right back to work. Drops him down, stomps right on the chest of Samoa Joe. Dragon screw leg whip though. Puts him right back down. There's a shot right to the midsection. Into the cover, count of one, count of two. Oh my God, what just happened? What just happened? Oh my God, what? What did we just see? Samoa Joe won the title back. What? just happened Samoa Joe wins the title with what a kick to the midsection I don't even know all right apparently that's amazing we got a four-star match I'll take it no 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 all good crypto world literally it was my bad for misspeaking to begin with just needed to quickly correct myself right good to have you here crypto world wow I can't believe Samoa Joe just won that like that Wow. All right, Jeff Hardy here. Self-promo. Let's go. Get that popularity up to more. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And that's the end of the rivalry as well. So, Karrion Cross going to fade away. Samoa Joe is our champ moving forward. Now, here we go. T-Bar and Mace versus Pete Dunne and Apollo Crews. Butch. <laughs> Mason T-Bar put on a three and a half star. Tag rivalry grows again. And Mason T-Bar get the victory one more time. I don't think Rick, I don't think Apollo Crews and Dunn are going to like that, are they? 
Then we got Xavier Woods and Tim Burr. They're going to up their rivalry to a level three. Then we got this mid card here, The Rock versus Happy Corbin. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I want to spectate this one. I want to see this one. We've got a little bit more time before we have to go. So let's spectate this one, and then we'll spectate our main event. And that'll be the show here today, my friends. Hip is a bell with the Roth is cooking. I should go like all megaphone for that. Hip is a bell with the Roth is cooking. Or we could go with an echo. Hip is a bell with the Roth. Is cooking. Is cooking. From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock. The Rock. Dwayne is here. Rocky, 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 Rocky. Looks like the performance center. Yeah, looks like it. It was because of their stamina, says Mr. Canadian. That's why that match was done so quick. Makes a lot of sense then. It makes a ton of sense. Damn. Woo! Good old Rocky. Sim main, Hell in a Cell glitches and crashes when spectated. Yeah, I've noticed that there, Raven. We've done it a few times, so we will not be able to watch that main event. So it's why we're watching this one here. Unless I said I was watching the main event, in which case I have misspoke again. <laughs> Retro says, who wants to hear at the end of Mania? It's a bell, but The Rock is cooking. Roman and Rock face to face, ending Mania. Oh my god. Let's get some money emojis in the chat for just a half. Happy, happy guy. He's just a happy, happy, happy guy. It's Happy Corbin. He's here, Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. Happy Corbin! Like, I just want, literally, I want Happy Corbin's theme song to change to just a, just a happy. Happy guy. I'm just a happy, happy, happy guy. Or just a look at that happy guy. <laughs> That's all I want is he just struts on down to the ring. There we go. His music sucks, though. <laughs> it really sucks. There's the Rocky chance. All right, my friends, we're going to get this poll up on the screen asking you guys, who do you think is going to win? Corbin or The Rock? Corbin just slams down The Rock. No way. One. Kick out by Rocky. Good, 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 good. I was going to say. So who won? It's either going to be Happy Corbin or it's going to be The Rock. Oh, Corbin, right off the top rope. And he just drives his fist right into the side of the head of Rocky. But Rocky's right back up, ready to kick some ass and lay up the smack it down on your candy ass. Wait a second, though. Corbin. Mudkips, how you doing? Good to see you. He says, what the heck did they do with Baron Corbin? <laughs> they made him happy. You know what, dude? The story that was actually there, he lost all of his money. He was bad luck Corbin or, or something like that. He, he had no luck at all. He was down on his luck. And then he won a ton of money from gambling in, I think it was Atlantic City. Uh, that's at least the character that they have. And now he's happy Corbin. And he just likes a lot of dad jokes. Uh-oh. 
Oh, what a headbutt to the midsection. I bet you that hurt. And Rocky now outside. Oh, shoot. Ah, F me, man. Austin Matthews got suspended two games. Are you kidding me? Austin Matthews got suspended two games. Frig. Ah, that sucks. Wait a second. We got a sledgehammer. And now Corbin being worked by Rock. And Rock with a DDT knocks him down. Uh-oh, again though, Corbin just sent into the steel steps. Rock is wrecking him. Corbin again sent right into the steps. For what? Uh, he got... So Austin Matthews from the Toronto Maple Leafs, the NHL hockey team, if you guys don't know. He got suspended two games for cross-checking. Uh, it was Rasmus Dahlin, I believe, in the jaw. Yeah, not good. I'm not upset. I'm upset, man. I, I saw it happen live last night. It was during the Winter Heritage Classic match that they had. Wait, into the cover. Count of two. Oh, my God. Corbin kicks out just in the nick of time. But Corbin's got to be careful. As The Rock, the most electrifying man in all of sports entertainment. Oh no! Corbin choke slam on his knee! No! No! One! Two! No, no, no! Kick out! Good! Big kick out by The Rock. I thought Corbin was about to beat Rocky. But wait, not the sledgehammer. Goes for a shot to the face. Oh, it wasn't weak, Mr. Canadian. That's he, he deserves suspension as Rock! Oh my goodness! Slam right on the edge of the sledgehammer! One! The end of days! No way! Oh, and a kick out by The Rock again! The Rock stays alive! Corbin almost put away Rocky. What a match we're witnessing. Rock, though, in a lot of trouble. Corbin going to the top rope. Happy elbow drop, but nobody home. Rock's got the sledge. But Corbin stops him. Oh. Rock, though, a boot to the face. That's exactly what he needed. Rock now with an opportunity. No, not again. Oh, big counter by the Rock. He countered it. How the hell did he counter the end of days? Honestly, that might have been the first time the end of days has been kicked out of. The Rock busting open Corbin, going to the top rope. Rocky telling him to get up. What's The Rock gonna do? Cross body onto Corbin. And that should set it up. That should set it up. The most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. Here he comes off the ropes. Again off the ropes. People's elbow. Game over, Corbin. Two, three. The Rock has won at the Horror Show at Extreme Rules. Here is your winner, yeah, man. That was a good match. That was a really good match. Uh, William Larratkins. Larratkiss? Larratakis. William Lyraticus says, where am I streaming from? I am streaming from Ontario, Canada. I am a Canadian. Je suis Canadien. Je, peux, je suis parlé le petit peu de français. Juste un petit peu de français, mais je peux, je peux parler un petit peu de français. Je suis, je, 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 I'm joking. I literally only know like five words. Uh, but there we go. There it is. Rivalry grows. Rock and Corbin with a 3.5 star match. And we have our main event here, my friends. We will not be able to watch it. I don't think. Actually, um... I mean, we can watch it as long as it stays inside the cell, right? As long as they don't go to the outside of the cell. If they go to the outside of... Oh, you know what? No, it glitched last time. No, 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 no. Let's just uh, simulate this one. Here we go. All right, Shayna Tegan, put on a banger, please.
Here we go. We're simulating this one. And this is our final simulation of the day. We will be back with more GM mode tomorrow. Here we go. Baszler knocks. Ah, oh, Shayna retains. Damn. Rivalry complete. I was hoping Tegan would take the title. I, I think we could have had some more options with Tegan. But Shayna continues to be champion here in NXT. Let's see what they do. Oh, yeah. I gave them the double card. So their Extreme Rules match cost $40,000. Literally everything costs double. Wow. They can't put on the show they want to put on, can they? Dana and Natalia? Really? Three and a half star. Okay, I guess they got lots of rivalries. Roman cuts a promo. Titus versus MVP. Titus picks up the win. <laughs> oh, that sucks for you. That sucks for you. Oh, raw. That sucks. Three. There you go. They're not touching us here. They aren't touching us unless this main event is epic. It's not even a title match. Carmella wins. Amazing. Four star. You know what? They were pretty competitive. They were pretty competitive. They didn't touch us. They didn't beat us once. But we put on a really good show. Look at that. A 4.0 opener. 3.5, 3.5 mid cards. And then a 4.5 main event. They couldn't touch us. Couldn't even touch us. We got amazing booking. You put on a great pay-per-view where the opener and main event matches created a memorable start and finish with highly rated matches. So get wrecked. Get wrecked, Raw. NXT is the A show. What am I telling you guys? We are dominating NXT in the ratings. Or we are dominating Raw in the ratings. Us, NXT, are killing it. Let's see what we have to say over on the side, though. Tim Burr. Says, happy to fight you anytime, Woods. Only one way it ends. All right. So there we have it. 166,000 fans for them, though. 118,000. They're still ranking number two. We have 2.293 viewers. Yeah, man. Our budget's a little lower, but we've got quite the roster. Um, we're competing really well with them. Four weeks until Clash of Champions. Happy Corbin says, I thought I'd leave Louisville for good. Well, I think I'd better go out there and show them what they've been missing. So apparently Corbin needs to be in a match. That's fine with me. Maybe we can do Rock versus Corbin again. Trent Seven says, I've had enough crap working at NXT. has been a complete joke. Yeah, I understand. I understand, dude. I turned you heel and I've done nothing with you. The only way I can convince you. Nope, no chance, Trent. No chance. Sorry, buddy. Walk. Goodbye. See you later, Trent Seven. So we have lost Trent. Trent is no more on our roster. Um, is there any... Riddle would be fun. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Bianca Belair? Oh, that might be exactly what we need to go up against Shayna. Hang on. Who? What is Shayna's role here? What is Shayna's role? Bruiser. Ah, shoot. Is that exactly what they have her listed at as a bruiser? Damn. Okay, but you know what? That doesn't mean we can't book a show. Who works well with a bruiser? We could do bruiser versus a fighter. So, Bianca could go up against... Who could we get Bianca with? Uh, we could put up Bianca against Peyton, which could work. Bianca against Candace could work. Bianca against Billy could work. We got three matches right there. Yeah, she's coming on in. We could do Tony as well eventually versus Bianca if we turn one of them. Yeah, there we go. Permanent. We're getting Bianca Belair. Welcome to the roster, man. $240,000. But it's worth it. How about some of these people down here, Mr. Higglesby. <laughs> Ignition. It's the remix to Ignition. It is that girl right there. She is wearing purple. And she's got purple in her hair. Okay, that's the song. Good song, Con. Good song. And there we go. What else do we have? Corbin needs to make a appearance this week. Contract's expiring. Fine with me. All right, my friends. So that's going to be it. That's going to be all she wrote for today. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this GM mode. We had, what is that, 6,500 clicks, so probably around 4K views, which is sick. And we had 2,349 subscribers now, so that's what we're up to. Man, guys, what an awesome stream. I had so much fun, and I hope that you guys did as well. On your way out, please make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You can come on over to my main channel, Conman167, and join us for our live stream watching Monday Night Raw together over there. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, a massive, massive, massive shout out to Go Gamer. Dude, you dropped some heat in here today. I deeply appreciate it. Thank you for your support on this channel. Have yourselves a wonderful night, my friends. I've been Con. We'll see you tonight for Raw if you come on over to Conman167. But until then, take care, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys later.